Okay, and we're back. Welcome everyone to the Sunday Dork Vision stream. Uh, you can catch this stream every Sunday from uh, 9 to midnight Eastern Time. Catch the sister stream in the Undermountain on Wednesdays from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and be sure to check out my new book on DriveThruRPG, Noble Crumpet's Guide to Slimes, Jellies, and Oozes. Uh, it's really fun, uh, and pick it, pick it up. It also comes with tokens for Roll20. Anywho, we have a bit of a situation on our hands because the party has descended into the realm of the Fire Giants uh, as of last session. Um, while investigating their mines, they sent Amon and Mao on a diplomatic mission, uh, but upon finding out that the topside fire giants seem a bit different than the bottom side giants, they were thrown into the blacksmith's forge of the uh, fire giants, where they were promptly attacked. Uh, Mao got away and escaped into uh, the fire giant princess's chambers, Dranga Blazebeard. Uh, meanwhile, Amon uh, stood off to face the uh, giants alone until their allies could show up, and whereupon they descended into the dark, and now they're they're in a bit of a situation. They're looking for Mao, and uh, and Amon is T posing prone inside of an anti life shell on the other side of uh, Hunger of Hadar Darkness, keeping five or so giants uh, at bay, and that's where we pick it up now. <laughs> so. And he's, like, at no health. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Uh, Amon has one health. Uh, and Mao oh, no. has I zero. Have, have eight. Oh, have you have eight? eight? Oh, right. you have eight. <laughs> uh, my mistake. Yeah. Seven yeah. more. My apologies. Uh, Mao is at zero, though. Uh, she was just smashed over the head uh, with a foot from a fire giant. Um, so we're going to end that turn. Oh, and apparently have... my brain isn't crushed. Just saying. I, I, I do have a question I realized kind of out of this. Would we hear the direction of Mao's biting, possibly? Uh, I would say you might need to make a check. It's on the other side of a stone door, and on the other side okay. of a secret door, and mm -hmm. through some stone walls. All right. I mean, if they're big doors for big people, there's probably a little bit of space in between the cracks to make sure they can access stuff. Through, through the doors? I mean, depending on how the stone's set up. I don't know. They, they try to make it so people maybe. can't get through. Anywho. Yeah. Uh, the stone doors are impassable for you guys. Uh, but, anywho, the fire giants on the other side of, uh, Amon's gambit over here, uh, it is their turn as they all start going. Um, and I forget what they were up to. I think that this fire giant, uh, had just taken the reins and was going to start hurling rocks, um, at Amon while the other fire ogres, uh, go off to... Uh, get more weapons and whatnot, and get more stuff to throw. So, this fire giant uh, picks up a what appears to be a ballista bolt uh, handed to him from one of the fire ogres, uh, and he's going to throw it uh, sort of like a rock towards Amon, with disadvantage because Amon is prone, and also through darkness. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, the bolt flies through, uh, and I was going to decrease the armor class because it's a bolt instead of like a, a heavy thrown object, but uh, it seems that this one is finally struck th uh, true. It lands somewhat near you, Amon, and then uh, tiles like burst up uh, everywhere, and it unfortunately brings you down uh, to one, I think, because it activates your death ward? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you topple uh, backward just a little bit, and then you uh, come to rest with your anti-life shield intact. Uh, I will need you to make a concentration check, though, as if you took the full damage. So that okay. is going to end up being 15 plus 3. You have advantage, so that's good. Uh, so that succeeds. Uh, okay. Oof. Uh, the fire giants are staying clear of that hunger of Hadar. Uh, even though it can't hurt them very much, they still don't like getting hurt. Mao, uh -huh. it is your turn. Uh, make a death saving throw. Uh -huh. oh. you, Does that count for two? Uh, that counts as... Uh, stable? I forget how natural 20 works. I believe that I believe it puts you to stable, right? I thought it did. Or at least it's two it, successes. Doesn't it bring you back to one? 
because that was the whole thing I always try for, even though I have the, the stabilizer. Either way, I'm going to say that uh, you... Yep, you regain one HP, uh, and you're able to take action as you are now conscious. <laughs> <laughs> Run the fuck Okay, uh, yeah, she's lifting her uh, foot off of you after having smashed you in the face, uh, and she's reaching down to grab you, uh, but you suddenly regain your consciousness with one hit point. What do you do? Um, disengage? I'm just gonna try and run away. Okay. Do you want me to like roll for something? I. Uh, well, you said you're disengaging. Uh, I don't know where the fucking go, so I guess I'm just gonna run back over here. Okay. Uh, you do get out of her range. She swipes at you, but of course you're disengaging. Uh, she gets nothing but air. You rush off towards these giant-sized treasure chests uh, surrounding the room. else and you're able to take an action so it's technically an action and that's the end of my turn yeah i mean you can uh disengage as a bonus action because you're a rogue okay so you I would still have an action i cast darkness okay let me go find it go find the darkness i'm on the right i would probably would have done that then before disengaging just to create confusion Cool. Where are you casting it? Probably right in the middle, before running away. So, like, right there? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the map layer. Cool, uh, you hold up your hand, and then a uh, swirl of darkness emanates from it and starts to fill the room. Uh, you <laughs> duck out behind, uh, over to where the trash can... The trash cans? Treasure! <laughs> treasure cans are! Trash cans! <laughs> Uh, Tethys has just taken out one of these fire giants with your guys' help, uh, and he's going to pop out. Alright, where are we off to? Uh, and head towards Zumasu. Uh, Zumasu, he sees that you're heading towards there, uh, so he's going to kind of just keep moving off towards this direction and dash. Zumasu, it is your turn. Uh, Goose um, is fran uh, frantically pointing towards the uh, stone doors in the south. Okay, let me get some areas. Uh, which one's the actual door? This area right here? Yes. Okay. I guess I'm gonna try and push the door open or see how it works. Uh, you have the strength of a giant, so you can just do that. I can just push the door open? Yeah, you took a giant's, uh, potion of giant strength, so you have yep. the strength of okay. a of a giant, you just kind of open the door. Uh, although roll twenty is still trying to. I, okay, if I didn't have the strength of a giant, would I no. have to make a pretty high strength check? Sorry, uh, I'm trying to grab something and it's not letting me. Once again, I'm just gonna delete this. Remake a new door later. It doesn't like square doors. Roll twenty. Can I do flags. like a, you have to do flags. a perception yeah, check to that. hear anything from this um, area? Uh, okay, you open the door, uh, and you look inside, uh, you do hear someone yelling, uh, from the immediate, uh, right end, where there is a upturned crate, uh, leaning off to the side, uh, and a open, uh, stone door, revealing a secret passage beyond, which you can I see once you yelled, enter the room. Yeah, I definitely yelled, like, fuck you, bitch, before casting my spell. So. Get back here, you little bug! I can get over here. Okay, you look inside and you see that there is a uh, younger fire giant, uh, and she is uh, on the other side of some magical darkness as she is uh, trying to like bat it away from her as if she could try to, to wave away smoke, but it's not working. I just yell at her to try and create a distraction. I'm just going to be like, uh, I surrender now, put down your weapon. <laughs> she uh, immediately turns back towards you. More of them. <sighs> You'll pay for this. check. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she is not convinced. Uh, I'm going to tell you that now. Okay. It, it's not easy to persuade someone 20 times your size to to put down their weapons and surrender. Especially after she just defeated one of I you guys. I just got to make her go from hostile to neutral to have a chance at talking to her. 
Goose's turn. Is the size of like a mosquito to everything else, so he's gonna sort of stay out here. Okay. Uh, are you moving yeah. at all? Um, he, uh, nah, he's not moving. <laughs> okay. Uh, then in that case, uh, we'll move to Pran. Pran is going to, uh, two, three, six, and bonus action dash, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, Pran can get down to the secret entrance as well. Um, and uh, after he hears you yell to surrender, uh, he draws his crossbow and readies an action to attack if she chooses to attack. I'm on. Uh, it is your turn. You are at one hit point. All right, uh, I'm going to use Dorado Absorption uh, to cast Death Word on myself. <laughs> and... Uh... Yeah, but I, I think I'm just going to roll over a little. Okay, that's it. Okay, uh, you re-up your death ward uh, using the Rod of Absorption. And boom crash. It's your turn. Um, boom crash is going to... She can see through the Hunger of Hadar because she can see through Magical Darkness, right? Um, I think out to 120 feet. Yep. So, can she see from where she's currently sitting um, any giants? Uh, there are no giants right in that range, no. Okay, then I'm going to... Two, three, four, five, six. Can I see any fire giants now? I can okay. maybe see that guy? Yeah, I think you... Whoop, I grabbed you because I'm not on the ruler tool. Yeah, you could see that guy. Um, okay, suppressing fire. <laughs> all right, uh, Eldritch Blast then. Eldritch Blast. You launch some Eldritch Blasts towards this de uh, this guy. And that is going to hit. Uh, just, just roll your other attacks as well. And I don't know what it is with roll 20. But I may need to disable these animations. Uh, I'd be fine with that. I thought you didn't I, thought I disabled that. them last time, actually. Yeah, I thought you were already doing that. Uh, not exactly. Let me try. I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna delete it. What was causing the problem? I don't know. Uh, Roll twenty is just really slow with animations, like lately and I don't know what has changed but it makes you, it abysmally slow. Are you overloading the music in that like folder possibly and maybe it's slowing it down? I don't think the music folder has anything to do with like the uh, animation economy. I just figured saving and loading and holding information. Uh, okay so we have three hits. Um, so that's gonna be uh, the first seven damage is dealt to them, and then they are blasted back ten feet, uh, where they collide with one of the other fire ogres, uh, who's gonna backpedal into the other room. Uh, roll for damage for the next two. At least we're consistent. Uh, we deal another, uh, fourteen damage, uh, as the fire giant is blasted further back. Shadows be attacking. What is this? <laughs> uh, anything else for your turn? Um, nope. I moved and I cast a spell, so. All right. It is Dranga's turn. Uh, um, I gotta reset Discord. I'll be one second. Okay. Uh, well, she is going to uh turn to you guys. Hmm. I need to. I need to do a little internal check to see what she might do. Take your time. Okay, neat. Um, she is going to make a perception check. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Okay, 
Uh, she can't find where Mao has gone inside of the darkness. She was thinking about going after her, but instead she's just going to run towards Zumasu. Uh, we'll stay just 10 feet out of the range. Uh, and she's going to attack you with her dagger, I believe it was. Rude. Okay. By the way, is this the corner of the map? Uh, yeah. Okay, I was trying to scroll it more and I'm like, is that real 20 being slow or is that just it not working? That's just it not working. Okay, uh, does it, a 19 doesn't hit you. She no. has two attacks, so she will do a second one. 24, okay, I would say, does. Um, so now she needs to do that many plus that many. Okay, uh, she okay. slams you for 10 piercing damage. Uh, as, well, it's more like slashing damage, uh, as it collides with you. And... I'm just gonna end her turn. Now it's this big fire giant's turn. Uh, he's going to... Now that, uh, Amon... Well, Amon's not really in the equation, is he? Um... What's this guy gonna Amon do? Amon plus floor, and we'll figure out that equals. I think he's going to uh, pick up another rock uh, and hurl it towards Amon. Uh, this time it is a 13, which I don't think hits you. Nope. Uh, the stone collides uh, with the tile behind you, uh, scattering out into the uh, ground there. Meanwhile, fix strength to 16. Sorry, I'm checking my notes for a second. Okay. <laughs> uh, the fire giant is then going to order the ogres to get in there. Um, they kind of like look at each other, and then they start charging in uh, against their better judgment into the hunger of Hadar. Uh, so they're immediately going to take... Uh, what is it first? Dexterity save? Um, and then they what? take automatic damage if they end their uh... turn? Hold on, I'm scrolling up to where it was. I don't remember. Come on, don't be useless. Thank you for being patient. Um, it's okay, I'm looking at it on your spell sheet. Um, if they end their turn in the area, must succeed on dexterity saving throw. Okay, uh, and if they just start their turn or enter the area, they automatically take 2d6. So deal 2d6 cold now, and then another 2d6, because uh, one of them is going to end their turn there. Okay. Well, one of them is going to end their turn and fail to save. <laughs> seven again! <laughs> so you've rolled uh, five damage rolls that have been seven. That's <laughs> fun. Oh, Yay! Uh, they rush in, and then they start, like, pushing against the, uh, the anti-life orb there, uh, but they can't enter that space. I don't know the logistics, but I assume that they can't push it. So they're just, like, trying to, like, force their way in, but they are unable to enter. Um, there isn't any, like, save for trying, is there? I'm on. What? Save for trying? Is there a save no. for trying to get oh, into no. the anti-life? No. Yeah. Okay, then they just cannot enter. Uh, so they are just going to uh, pick up rocks uh, like torn up from the tile of the ground and throw it towards where Amon is with disadvantage. Uh, okay, they're going to have plus six. It's weird because I'm giving them all custom items here. So a 13 doesn't hit. And a seven doesn't hit. They just hurl them and they uh, scatter along the ground. Okay, they're done. Mao, it is your turn. You uh, heard giant footsteps uh, retreating down the southern hallway, and you heard Zumasu's voice. Fucker. I'm just gonna go. Fucker. I'm gonna shoot at her from over here. Hey, I'm not done with you yet. It's just I know it's fire, but whatever. Okay. Trying to get, like, her attention. I mean, uh... You do? No, you don't. Uh, she actually has, uh, 
good armor class. Uh, so that just kind of pings off of her armor. <laughs> Makes a noise. It does. Uh, she knows you're there now, uh, and she kind of like looks back at you uh, and snarls. Um, also, I forgot Pran had readied his action. He's going to take this opportunity to uh, shoot at her as well. Crossbow. Unfortunately, there's no sneak attack capable. And unfortunately, that doesn't hit. Uh, okay, Mao, anything else with your turn? Uh, I'm going to step back into the shadows, and as I'm using it to kind of cover me, I yell to them and be like, By the way, she doesn't give a shit. She just thinks that we're fucking here from the wizard to kill them. They don't communicate well. I'm better than them. <laughs> Hiding in the shadows. All right. It's Tethys' turn. Tethys is going to walk in, see the situation, and uh, look at Zumasu and Pran and just be like, we taking this one down? I guess if she doesn't want to negotiate, I give her a glare. <laughs> I don't negotiate with people after our filthy crown, our most sacred object. Uh, are, she seems important. Are you important? I am the king's daughter, and you will answer to him. I yell from the shadows like, he's doing some stupid ritual thing, she said it before. <sighs> I'm gonna feel bad beating this lady up. Not that you'll live to see it, tiny creatures. You can't You're see up. me, fuck you. Uh, Tethys uh, just loses an Eldritch Blast. A couple of them, in fact. Wait, is he a... Is this is he a warlock or is he a initiate? Tethys? Well, we don't really know. He he explains yeah. to you that he's a warlock and he oh. his patron is Kyphon. The oh. star god. I thought god. he was a cleric for the longest time for some reason. <laughs> it's weird cuz he's it? used Eldritch Blasts before and he's I just forgot about it. <laughs> okay. Uh either who uh none of them hit. Yeah. Uh they just fling off of the armor. Um actually does he have three attacks? He does have three attacks. He'll do a third one. Oh, a hit. For six force damage. Boink. Zumasu, it's your turn. Um, one second. I'm going to try something risky. I'm going to use a, use a special on the divine thing. Alright. Probably won't work, but let's see. Let's see how high the wisdom is. Oof. And a lot of things that have animations on them today. Uh, I'm cast. I'm using Channel Divinity Penitent Stare to see if she can um, have disadvantage on shit. Wisdom save 16. I know. I'm just uh, waiting for it to roll because it's trying to do the animation. God damn it! <laughs> Which one did she have disadvantage already? Mm. Uh, yeah, she struck, uh, shrugs it off as, uh, her eyes, like, glaze over, and you try to stare her down, uh, for her sins, but, uh, she doesn't feel that penitent, and she just shakes her head and looks down at you. Ugh, that magic won't work here. Tough. Um, okay, do you have discretion? Can I do something stupid and weird? But I want to get around here, right? Um. She's two sizes larger than you, so you can move through her space. You just oh, can't. I was going to try and climb up the wall. Uh, it is actually... Actually, no. Um, I did say that this passage was uh, smaller, actually, for the giants. So she's actually squeezing. You can't move past her. I misspoke there. Okay. Um, when you say small, could I still maybe climb up the wall to try and get past her? No, you cannot. All right. It is um, like she is ducked against the ceiling. You'd have to like walk through her shoulder. Okay. Um, could I literally just go over here to get cover from this spot? I mean, yeah. If it's squeezed, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Cause I can't, I can't attack this turn since I tried to stare at her. Okay. Um. Cool. I also think that you guys might actually have advantage on attacks against her now that I'm thinking about it. If she can't move. Yeah, yeah, I think you have advantage against people that are squeezing. That almost never comes up. Um, okay, anything else for your turn? Nah, I use my actions. I'm just gonna be like, you're outnumbered, lady. It's better to surrender. Uh, Goose is hanging out in the hallway. Honk. Will Goose do anything else? Um, I can't 
Okay, I'm gonna move Boom Crash to where Goose is right now so I can see what the hell he can see. Oh, you can't see because... that? No, I can't. Because um, I, I can't see through Goose. Um, okay, so Goose is going to move Oh, I know why, because there's no light in the area. Yeah. Um, because it's the dynamic lighting, like... Yeah, uh, okay. Goose does not have dark vision. That's why. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Can he move towards the sounds and try and help people? Yeah, this area is kind of dimly lit, so Goose can still navigate. Oh, she's squeezed in there. Okay. I'm gonna... Oh, shoot. I grabbed the wrong token. Um, yeah, Goose is going to move. He's gonna perch on the bed. Okay. And be ready for potentially a touch attack. Touch spell attack. Soon. So. Okay. It is Pran's turn. Uh, Pran is going to leap forward, and since he does have advantage, he's going to let loose with the short sword. Um, and that's going to hit one for 14. Then another for eight. Uh, and then he's going to bonus action disengage out this way. Amon, it's now your turn. Alright, alright. So... Um, hmm. Okay, you know what? It's not. Let's. Uh, the rule. Please expedite this procedure. Ooh. Uh, Are you doing a divine intervention attempt? Yes. Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> uh, roll it. So, what is it? You need to roll uh, at least a 10? Or a 10% or less? Not happen. Uh, I need to roll uh, 10 or less. Okay. It did not happen. Oh, so, I see it now. Yep. Uh, I guess nothing happens. So in that case, uh, I, I'm i going to cast a uh, spirit weapon. Eh. That's a bonus action. Because... Right. Uh, Can I even see them? I can't uh, see them. You right? cannot see through the darkness, no. Then I'm not casting anything. And uh, uh, then I guess I'm just gonna eh, roll around. All right. Uh, good talk. Boom crash. It is your turn. You can see the two fire ogres uh, trying to get through Amon's area there. Sing fire. That's a hit. Cool. I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so two hits? Uh, yeah, two hits. Uh, actually, three hits. All three? Sweet! Okay, so... Are you aiming them all against one, or...? Um, no, I'm spreading them out. So two towards one, and the last one towards another one. Okay. Minus five. Minus ten. Minus 13. Okay, uh, your blasts of shadow uh, zoom over Amon's head uh, and slam into these fire ogres, knocking them backwards. <laughs> the shadows hurt, boss! <laughs> Why can't you get through? We don't know! Magic! <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else? Uh, nope, I'm good. Uh, it is Dronga's turn. Uh, she is going to, I think she's going to, uh, kind of get out of this situation here. Uh, she's going to squeeze out and try and grapple both Tethys and Zumasu. Uh, one attempt at each of you guys. Which is going to be posed athletics or acrobatics from your, your side. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the athletics. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, she failed against uh, Zumasu. She oh, failed against Tethys. Well, uh, you know, you can you can certainly oppose this. She rolled very bad. I barely won. <laughs> I guess I guess we should oppose it. Let's uh, do Tethys because might roll less than ten. Uh, he's gonna do dexterity. Okay, Tethys is fine. Uh, you guys dodge out of the way uh, of her attacks. Um, she is then just going to uh, kind of pop out uh, over you guys. Yeah. Is yeah. Metra an attacker though? Uh, no. She's big and going all the way around. And stuff. No, she's just uh, going out over here. Um, and that's gonna be her turn, I think. It's this fire giant's turn. Uh, which means that these fire ogres are gonna take 2d6 damage. Boom Crash, can you roll that for me? Then they, uh, realizing that. Ooh. Nice. We got that. Uh, they are taking some cold damage, uh, and then they retreat out of the uh, darkness. Ugh. Boss, please! Fine, just keep up the assault! Uh, and then he's going to uh, grab another stone and hurl it towards Amon, as well as these other fire ogres. They're going to try that too. Are these, are these guys never going to run out of rocks? They got a lot of stuff here. They're actually right next to their armory. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, we got an 18, and we got an 11. Uh, does an 18 hit? Yes. Okay, so then that's going to deal... Uh, to it's, one. It's not as much, thankfully. So this plus four. Uh, so that's 11 damage. Uh, which, I mean, yeah, you're at one. <laughs> yeah, I'll make it. Yeah, you make it. Uh, then the fire giant's going to, uh, you know, throw his, uh, which is a 15. Does a 15 hit you? I don't remember. I can never remember your AC anymore. 17. 17. Uh, okay, so that misses. Uh, he's then going to, uh, go back into this room, uh, and yell at one of his other lackeys to take up the rock throwing business she's gonna throw a uh, rock uh, with another 15 missing yeah this prone thing's really helping for you um, that's it Mao. you know what else will help getting this thing done faster why is no one killing her yet <laughs> no, it's your yeah. turn. Well, so it's my turn and I know that you guys are nearby and maybe you could probably hear me but I'm gonna yell to you and be like so What's the game plan now? They're obviously idiots. They don't want to help us kill the wizard lady. Do you want me to take some shit and run? I, I, we probably have to take care of Dranga here right now. Are we killing her? Do I have permission to kill? <sighs> Dranga, I'm sorry. You're going to have to lay down if you don't surrender. Yeah, you have permission. Great. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll let you make an intimidation check at disadvantage. Uh, she doesn't have any reason to fear you guys yet. Even if there are three of you. Well, the disadvantage is important. Yeah. <laughs> we have to wait until next turn after we either knock her down or almost knock her down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are like three rats saying put down your weapons. Right. The so Mouseketeers over here. Um, let me just... I just want to check distance. So it's 30 feet, so that's one. Uh, let's drink a potion. Because I have those. That's probably fair for you. Yeah. I'm gonna drink a Raider Healing Potion. Okay, uh, I will get that for you. 15 hit points, uh, which is plus the one that you, uh, I guess, never gave yourself. No, apparently not. Um, so 16. Okay, anything else? I am going to use my bonus action to move another 30 feet. And I think that's pretty much it. Okay. Tethys' turn. Uh, Tethys is going to summon their maul and go to whack. Natural 20. He pulls his weight sometimes. Uh, okay, that's going to be... Wow. Uh, okay, yeah, I see how it did the math. Um, 
So that's 18, Zero. 19, 20, 21. It's because it only applies it. Um, that's a numerical bonus, not a dice bonus, the necrotic. So uh, that is going to be 21 damage. Ugh! Uh, she gets whacked in the kneecap, uh, and some of the necrotic energies are starting to swirl around it. Uh, he only has one attack, though, uh, so he's just kind of kind of move around to the side here. Zumasu, it's your turn. I want to just attack, I guess. Seriously? Two natural ones! <laughs> Thirteen snake eyes. Jesus Christ. It's impressive to see. Oh god. Uh, well, at least I get two attacks. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, a thirty's a bit better. That hits. Nah. For fifteen or fourteen slashing damage so far. Damn, I I did not have a good roll of that round. My my regular divine smite damage was better than my bonus damage. Okay, I need uh I, I need you guys to go in and delete all the uh the FX things in any of your macros, because that that's really slowing down my computer. Do you have an update happening at the same time? No, this mm -hmm. I don't have an update happening every single time I play Roll Twenty. Mm. Uh, How do I go to the macro? Do I go to the character sheet? Yeah, it's if you shift double click uh, attributes and abilities, can you access that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, oh. Uh, there is attributes and abilities on the third tab, yes. Yeah, up on the top it says bio and info, character sheet, attributes and abilities. Yep. Um, so if you go into that and hit the, the arrow button, uh, or rather the pen button uh, that appears when you hover over that macro, just click that, and then uh, if the last page, if the last line says like slash FX, just delete that line because that's a, a special effect. Mm, I don't think I'm getting anything. That you probably don't have a ton, but Zoom yeah. also seems to have a ton of them. <laughs> yeah, it's on the on the right hand side. There's like the little pen that'll pop up. Yeah. Uh, if you can't get it, that's fine. You can also just tell me what you're doing. Uh, in some cases. Uh, you had two attacks this round. Uh, are you doing anything else? Um, I'm in flanking bonus area, right? I guess we're just gonna completely surround her. What do? Yeah, okay. She got no way to escape. Goose. Can I make another intimidate with that terrible attack? <laughs> uh, I suppose so. She's at less than half health now. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be like, weigh your options. I'm going to guess you care about your life a lot, right? Ugh. Okay. Uh, this time, this time I'll roll against it because she has more of a reason. So this is more of a test for her. Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> As uh, Tethys slams into uh, her kneecap, and then you uh, do one glancing blow uh, that she deflects with her uh, her dagger, you then. Uh, as she gets closer to the ground, you stab up into her uh, like lower abdomen and unleash a torrent of radiant electricity from Hieronius. <laughs> uh, and she like leans over, clutching uh, the wound, and then you uh, call up to her, "Where are your options?" And she like looks at all of the people uh, surrounding her. Mao coming out with uh, her her bow and arrow, Pran with his uh, crossbow trained and short swords at the ready, Goose crackling with electricity from the presumed shocking grasp that was about to hit her. Um, and she like leans her head down and says, Father, I have failed. And she submits. She drops the dagger. Okay, empty all weapons. Th that was all I... that she had. Oh, damn, okay. I guess. She's like looking at him like, you said I could hit her! Well, she seems to be surrendering for now. We might have leverage to maybe get out of here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna skip ahead then to Amon's turn, because he is in a very different situation. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cast Death Word on myself using the Rado <laughs> Fortune. This is the this is the stupidest spellcaster situation ever. Never gonna Ugh. die. Eh, don't push the luck. 
Okay. I mean, between you and Boomcrash basically setting up a weird cheat wall. Make sure you're keeping track of those charges. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. So, oh. any any other things? You're good? Nope. Boomcrash, it is your turn. What will you do? I would really do? appreciate it if we get this done. I'm... I'm okay, I'm, no, okay. I'm looking, looking at items guy. now because... I don't really have much, like, powerful AoE scary bullshit, um, other than, like, don't, don't worry the about permafrost it. wrong. I'm more referring to the other guys. So, get this negotiation done quickly. Yeah, yeah. Six so, seconds or less. <laughs> okay, um, telepathic communication with Amon, because he is in view. Like, okay, do you want me to continue like throwing Eldritch Blasts at these dudes, or do you want me to try and destroy some of the some more of the ground that they're on with an earthquake? Uh, I think Eldritch Blasts are more damage, but uh, Earthquake might get them to back up more. Yeah, do whatever you uh, feel. Uh, I, I trust your judgment. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible thing. Um, okay, Eldritch Blast, suppressing fire. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, I got so a one's, crit. one's a crit. Uh, you're probably firing at the lady that has uh, moved in front of the big dude. So roll that damn. Uh, also, the oh, first mother. two of those are hit. <laughs> oh, good damage oh. there. Fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so that's nine and then nine. And then the last one does not hit. Um, it uh, soars off of this one's armor. <laughs> and the other two, though, uh, do collide. And she does back up into the, the banner over here uh, before getting herself back on her feet. Anything else for me, Boomcrash? Uh, I'm going to um, make some noise. Um, with my mimicry trait, what as sort of noise? if there are multiple people ca preparing a large casting to try and intimidate them. Okay. Um... So, do I cast a intimidation check or do an intimidation check? Sure. Okay. Ha ha! <laughs> Uh, you begin chanting in this uh, tone that makes it sound like there's more of you, and uh, it echoes throughout the chambers. Um, the fire ogres don't really know what's going on. They just hear, like, uh, generic noise. Let's see if this guy can... <laughs> uh, so they fail their uh, insight check, um, and then they look back towards uh, their mentor fire giant over here, Sounds like there's more of them, and they're casting more spells. What should we do? Uh, and uh, they begin speaking in giant incomprehensibly. Um, the bigger one is barking orders. Um, okay, uh, if that's it for you, let's move on to Dranga. Dranga. Uh, okay, I think I figured out how finally about the the macro thing. Do I just I clear the line of text inside the attack longsword underneath abilities? In the attack, I don't think we have the thing for the visuals. Let's just delete the FX. Under like attack longsword, you mean? Yeah, it says, says shows token as avatar, and then if you click on the little pencil, it just says percentage selected repeating attack zero attack. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's that is in fact where it is. Um, I'm just seeing like poison spray has one, uh, which says splatter slime. Uh, that'll be your example to delete that one. It's it's nice yeah. to have those, but not if it's going to cause performance issues, which it's now okay. becoming an issue. Oh, so I have to clear out the right portion of it. Yeah, it should be... I always put the FX things at the bottom, in the bottom line. Okay. Okay. Uh, coding 101. Dranga is now... Uh, she puts her uh, dagger down onto the ground, which, again, for you guys, is like a longsword. Um, and she uh, stands up 
and then like puts her hands up uh, just up towards her like shoulders like it's fine I give up um, and uh, she looks down at you guys what do you want from us no 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 you can't fuck you I've been trying to talk to you this entire time you asshole you, you didn't have the leverage of a bunch of allies here at the same time now um, I was being nice and I wrote it on her goddamn workbench and you didn't best me in combat. She looks back towards you. Didn't try to kill you either. Honestly, it would have been a point of honor if you chose to try and kill me. Uh, <laughs> Mao just grabs her How horn much? and starts walking into the room like, fuck <laughs> this shit. <laughs> the one right. time. Uh, How much does your father care about you? Would he be willing to give up the crown for you? My father would never give up the crown. Not to a non-fire giant like yourself. The crown is the most sacred object of all the fire giants. It was created here. We brought it back to its birthplace to bless it and bless our kingdom. You guys are all about honor when it comes to combat, though, right? When it's What if somebody us, were to beat him in combat? He would never give it up. He would never even, offer it. Even if he was defeated in combat? We have to agree to a wager. A yeah, <laughs> she's like he, he's not gonna offer that as as a thing. Collateral. Well, I'm I'm basically trying to say that if somebody you will not him, become will king of the fire the giants if you defeat the king. He will probably never give you the crown of the fire giants. Is what she's trying to convey to you. Okay. You know, he will never agree to the duel. You will never yeah. win this fairly. Yeah, but what if I was, like, really mean to him? Tell her we'll kill the freaking <laughs> wizard for the thing or something. I don't know. Be yelling from afar. I'm not there! It doesn't seem like even if we promised that, he would give it up. I'm turning off the darkness as I'm going back into the, the place to go and loot the crates and shit. Um... I'm still being pelted. Uh, He's yeah, I was about to, like, let him have one more word, and then, uh, I'd probably go back to you guys. Well, if you're after the then it seems like we're at an impasse here. Indeed we uh, are. I'm just gonna... If you think gonna... that you want to face him, then I can help with that. But what he would is... you get out of it? Hopefully, you will leave this place and not attack me or my kin would you be in charge if he was down if he fell it would pass to me yes that actually sounds like a reasonable agreement okay you're, you want to help try and agreeing, the succession? you're agreeing to, you're, you're trying, you're to, trying to kill my father she well. doesn't seem to want it what are you doing? Yelling from far. Well, if you're fo you'll at least be able to keep your life and keep your people safe versus, you know, needlessly dying. Is it like extortion? Yeah. So. If you want to face my father, I can help you face him. You will not defeat him. I'll take that at least. Now I think you understand me. All right. Meanwhile, let's move back. Swear to God, if I, if I die for this, <laughs> if I die for, yes, you can attempt to take the crown. Um, if, I die, if I die for this uh, Henry Kissinger here, <laughs> sometimes this, they want succession. I should probably have done an insight check on that, honestly. <laughs> probably, uh, she did kind of word it weird. Now that I'm looking back on it, the fire ogres start to throw. Uh, more things at you guys. One of them completely fails. Uh, the other one gets a 20 total. Uh, so that's gonna hit you, Amon, for some damage. Yes, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. And then we need a, yeah, a new have, check. I have to put it back up again one more time. And it deals 11 damage if that matters. Probably doesn't. Um... Nope. And... I should probably yell at the others to go check on Amon. <laughs> Oh, now you care. Uh, 12 does not hit you. Uh, she's going to move this up to the side. Big guy's gonna move forward. And he's gonna throw hit rock. And get a 12. Uh, cool. I'll make my con, and then let's move on. Okay. 
Yet again. If he critical failed that though, doesn't can something go wrong? Uh, if he ever. Wait, you mean uh the giant? Yeah. I mean, Why? there's not much space for him to. Like, like, what's he gonna do? Mm -hmm. Accidentally throw it in the lava and splash him on for fire damage? No. Um, I was hoping that with it would like he would like throw out his arm or accidentally smack one of his buddies because they're in fairly close quarters. <laughs> nah, he just throwing it, it over their foot. heads. Yeah, drop it on his toe. <laughs> 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 nah, we don't do uh, uh, fail tables here. Okay. Uh, worth, it, worth an ask because I want to kill these guys and protect them on. <laughs> fail tables are usually worse for players. They're very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's let's yeah. move on to the uh, the Henry Kissinger and his negotiation tables. Uh, you also hear uh, the giant yell uh, something, and then you hear a set of stone doors opening, uh, right nearby. Ooh. Ooh. This guy's oh, going to back up. Yeah, you. Okay. Yeah, right near Amon. Sorry. Um, okay. and now we're gonna have to add another dude. To the initiative. Deity. Damn. Okay, fairly low. Fairly low. It's like they've been inserted at the right place, though. Why this spell lasts for an hour? So you know. Okay, my potion lasts for an hour too. Uh, so, you know, just so Mao. Your time or something. Mao, what mm -hmm. were you doing while they were talking to Drana? Drana looking Drush. for shit in the trunks and chests. Uh, they are all locked. Ooh, who we get? I think I'm gonna try to unlock one. Uh, okay. Uh, that's not one of the things you have expertise in, is it? Uh... No. Okay, uh, then that does not open the chest. It looks like it's a lot bigger than your average locks, uh, which actually makes your thieves' tools a little less able to move the tumblers around. They're just too small. Ugh, uh, you're fine. gonna have to improvise. Meanwhile, we go through the turn cycle. Uh, we're gonna go back to Amon. There it is. Okay, uh, Amon, what do you do? I uh, cast Death Word on myself again. <laughs> and rolls sighs and shakes his head and Makes the spell happen for you. It's having to roll. It's the, my goddamn rod. So, <laughs> eh, all right. Um, it, that's it, I guess. Okay, boom crash. You may be on push to talk. Okay. Um, no, she just no hits. No. Well, actually, no. Those hit the fire ogres. Cool. All of those hit. Okay, uh, I'm assuming the same as last time, so I'm going to do... No, oh, uh... That shouldn't be like that. God damn it. Uh, okay, this guy should be at... No. I must, I messed up this guy's health. I'm going to say he's, he's very low, because it, it didn't take all of his health. Accidentally set it to negative 13 instead of putting minus 13. Still don't know how that happens sometimes. Uh, meanwhile, this guy takes 8 damage. Okay, uh, one of them is looking very uh, injured and is probably going to die if it takes one more hit. Uh, the oh. other one is looking bloodied, but uh, still standing. Anything else for you? I'm just going to make more intimidating noises. Okay. Uh... It is back to the Dranga conversation. Um, she, now that she like understands that you understand her uh, intentions here, uh, she gets up and she strides past you guys, uh, going off into her room here. Um, can we follow her so she doesn't grab a weapon? Uh, yeah. Um, also, should I can I make an insight check on that, like, retroactively to tell if she is the type that wants to commit patricide or not? Or is she just like, this is for the sake of not dying? You can attempt an insight check, sure. Okay. Does she seem ambitious, or does she seem like she's just, you know... She cares? seems loyal. 
Oh. Damn it, you're making me feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> if you wish to face my father, I can make that happen. Okay, good. We'll put the crown on your head. What? <laughs> um, uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, I, I sent a message to, like, Amon, be like, we're conversating with the princess, by the way. Where the fuck are you? Uh, holding down the, holding down the fort, literally. Hurry up. Uh, Where? Entrance. Ah. Okay. So, during my turns, I'll, I'm going to start moving out toward them. Okay. Um... Dranga goes over here and uh, she starts going through the uh, jewelry box on the table and she pulls out a rather punky uh, crystal. Um, it's been carved into the shape of an eye and it's roughly the size of your head. Um, she hands it down to Zumasu uh, and says, This is one of the two gems used to unlock the ritual chamber. The other you will have to pry from in Kandorag's claws. Is that a general or something? You could say that. We have an agreement with him to hold the other of these two crystals. Otherwise, only the king is able to get in or out, and he will be there for several days as part of the ritual. Hey, Zoo, why don't you ask her to tell her pets to knock it off? Apparently, Amon's kind of stuck in the entrance. I will, um... Will you call off your men for now, and we'll let you go? She kind of, like, looks down at you. Why? Are there more of you? A few more. I'll assess the situation. <laughs> How The thing is as big as my head. Um, by the way, economy of action. When I was walking over here, could I have used lay on hands on myself? Uh, sure. Okay. I, I just don't... I, we're we're going to have more fighting. I don't want to not be dead. Okay. You don't want to not be dead? So I said that double negative. <laughs> you want to be dead? I can make you be dead. Oh, I did not gain that much health. Uh, but yeah, that'll be on your turn, uh, coming up. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm gonna pass by you guys again, because you're all kind of going on Dranga's turn. Yeah. Anywho, we go to the new Fire Giant's turn. Uh, you hear a female Fire Giant uh, barking in uh, giant orders uh, that sound like single-word commands. Uh, and then you hear uh, the sound of what appears to be howling. <laughs> oh, no. Does everybody hear that? Uh, Amon mostly. Okay. What was the name of the thing she mentioned? In Kandorag. In Kandorag. The. I get a feeling that's the stupid dog we just heard. The stone doors open, and uh, boom crash. You can see a whole uh, stream of hellhounds start bursting out of the door. Uh, and racing down towards where Amon is. Oh, fuck. They do immediately take damage, uh, so do the 2d6. Okay. Oh, and also, um, he has... I cast, um, protection from evil on Amon. He does have that. I totally forgot. Um, how many these, um, times am I rolling this damage? Four? Uh, four. Two, three, four. Okay, uh, I'll do that damage. Remind me what protection does. Is it advantage on saves? Um, I forgot. Hold on. I think up. it might be, um, shit, shit, shit. Two deflection bonus to AC and two res resistance bonus on save. Two resistance bonus on saves? The protection grants several benefits. Creatures of those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. If a target is already, like, charmed, possessed, or frightened, um, has advantage on any new saving throw against the relevant effect. Okay, so it doesn't have advantage on, say, fire breath, right? Um, if it's an attack roll against the target, then he attack. has advantage. Uh, Amon, I'm gonna need you to make uh, four separate dexterity saving throws once the fire hounds... Uh, I already... I'm not gonna fail all of them. 
Oh, right. Wait. Well, that doesn't mean you automatically fail. It means you have disadvantage, I think. You roll away. Oh, God. If, if you're paralyzed, then you have you automatically fail. If you're incapacitated, you already fail. Uh, but if you're prone, it's it's just you can, like, roll out of the way, etc. I'm letting you have this. If if that is the incorrect way to do it. All right. Early, well, yeah, I don't have it. Too. Okay. Um, okay. Let me put this first first one down. Second one's gonna be enough to uh, kill me. And okay, this is not a failed. Uh, no, I'll be I'll be dead by then. So that's a that's a. So I'm down to two dead saving throws. Oh fuck. Uh okay. Um the hellhounds come uh from around the corner and once they realize they can't get any closer to you, they all spew out their fire breath, which just creates a blistering inferno in this hallway. Some of them even have their toes dipped in the lava, but they are unaffected completely. The uh inferno lifts and, uh, boom crash, you can see that Amon is lying in a, uh, a very Kentucky Fried Chicken state, uh, on okay. the ground, with no longer a spell surrounding them. Okay. Noted. Um, so the Hellhounds also, if they're ending their turn in that area, they need to make a dexterity saving throw. Mm. Yeah, they do. And, um, yeah. We'll do that. There's the fourth one. Okay, yeah, uh... No, we only count the first four. Uh, so two fails, two successes. Okay, so the two failures take 2d6 cold. Okay, the fire breaths weren't uh, spells or anything, right? Uh, no, they were just effects. Uh, okay, that's fine. Also, if it matters, uh, I haven't rolled any damage for it, but there, there is damage. Um, but I don't think well, it matters because you're so low. Yeah, yeah, I'm low because, um... All I need to do is keep track of, um... Uh, death fails. Okay. Um, go to. Oh, good. It's them. Uh, the fire giant isn't quite aware if the uh, the thing is gone, uh, but he knows that his hellhounds are in there, uh, and he sends his fire ogres in there to uh, clean up. One of them just oh. like backs up and goes, "Ooh, ooh, ooh." Uh, Chris. Yeah. Uh, sorry to bother you, but the, apparently there's nothing involving deck saves. It's all attack rolls. So, do I pass? Oh, it is an attack roll. What? No, I'm saying that the the disadvantage, uh, the uh, advantage is advantage type thing, uh, only affects. Uh, uh, so there is no uh, disadvantage on uh, dexterity saves for being prone. So did I pass any of them? Yeah. Uh, then you passed one of them. I think that okay. you need to make a fourth one though. Oh, um, no, because I I counted myself on like a failing because of it. So oh, I guess gotcha. I will indeed make one. Yeah, because you I'm were incapacitated then. So actually, nothing changes because if I'm inca in incapacitated because I'm zero hit points, then I, I I'll make a fail. Every yeah, time. so no, you you failed. Sorry. Yeah, I see what you're saying though. Uh, the first okay, one that, that you failed uh, got you down to that point, and then you auto failed. Uh, one of the fire ogres tries its best to enter the hunger of Hadar, taking 2d6 damage, um, and it just goes over to where the hellhounds are and goes, the Nice puppy! <laughs> go! 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 Um, he tries to feel around for that force field, and he doesn't feel it. It's gone, boss! Gah! Nortas namak! And then, uh, he barks an order to all of the fire giants, um, and they start to move in. Boom crash. Uh, roll another two d six for the fire ogre. And he's gonna attempt to save. Okay. Well, he doesn't take the second one, but he also takes an immense amount of damage for the first one. He's also at one hit point, so uh, he's not getting out of there next turn. Um, poor guy. Okay. Uh, we skip over Mao and we just kind of pile all the way down to Dranga's turn. Actually, we pile down to a mon's turn. Uh, 
so... Dogs out of nowhere. Uh, Dranga hasn't taken a turn yet. Um, I, thought you were, I thought you were making me roll. Uh, hold on. Um, because Mao said that they were... Yeah, she's talking, you guys just can't hear her. Sorry, I forgot to turn push to talk on because it was echoing from before. Um, yeah, I was running out to go see Amon because that was the last form of communication that we had on the Sending Stone. Well then, you can make your movement as the turns go by. Anyway, I failed my save, so I'm dead. Good news, everyone! Yeah, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Does, uh, do you have a diamond in your freaking possession? I think he might. He usually has uh, one spare. 150 GP. Uh, I need 150. Well, someone needs 150 more. Mm. Do you, I don't know if I have that. Do you know Revivify, Zoo? I know Revivify. Okay, so we there's. So you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> Boom crash. It is your turn. You can see that the Fire Ogre has uh, figured out that Amon is no longer protecting or blocking the path, and the hellhounds are snarling and uh, starting to move forward. Meanwhile, the fire giants are mustering their troops. Okay. Um, this is very bad, so... Hold on. Do -do -do, am I in range? Yes, I am! That looks like telekinesis okay. range. Yeah, I'm telekinesis and I'm grabbing his body, and I'm bringing it with me. <laughs> Ragdoll! So, I bring him... Is it 60 I've, feet that you can move it? Um, it's... I think I can only move him 30 feet, but I'm going to move him 30 feet in a diagonal direction so he's high up, so he's out of reach of any more potential damage because she doesn't necessarily know that he is, like, dead dead. Okay. Uh, you pick up Amon's body and move him 30 foot diagonally up uh, over, I guess, closer towards you, I'd assume, yes. as well. So you kind of move him diagonally up. Huh? Throw me to the lava. No, I'm not throwing you to the lava, you no. dick. You've already, um, you've already gone to a slime pool. You've already, like, died to, like, zombies and death plague. We're not throwing you in lava. The uh, hunger of Hadar fades as you that is... reassert your concentration. Yeah, um, and I'm also going to send a distress signal to... Um, Goose, and he's going to say... Um, like skull bag down, skull bag down. Sure. Twenty three nineteen. Help! <laughs> you start making the Death Star alarm noise down the hallway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Goose uh, is on high alert. It is Dranga's turn finally. Um, she hands you the gemstone, and uh, she is gonna start walking out with you guys. Um. If, if this needs to be done. Sorry, I, I missed that. My, my headphones cut off for a second. Uh, she's going to start following you guys out. Oh, okay. Uh, so she's going to move... Saying something? Okay, she can move 40 feet. I am I am saying stuff. Okay. Can you hear me? Um, yeah, I, I can. can hear you now. I can hear you fine. You never cut off. Okay, oh, so then it's my internet. Never mind. Yeah, but you're in the... <laughs> Okay, it's not letting me move one by one for some reason. Level 20, really not doing great today. Or lately, not sure what's up. It was fine yesterday for me. 15, 25. Okay, she can actually make it pretty far because she has 40 foot movement speed. She just has long stride, long legs. Uh, okay. Can't move that fast. <laughs> This other fire giant is going to shove past the fire ogre, um, and she has a whip in her hands, uh, and she shouts a command in giant. Yeah. Drag screen over there. Uh, she shouts in giant as she cracks the whip, uh, and the hellhounds uh, immediately start moving out. They have 40 foot too, I think. So they're going to go... Just going to ruler it. So they get about to here. These guys. 
have to move around, so they're going to get about to here. They're going to dash and head out about here. Come on, stop. Okay, uh, they are rushing down towards here, and then I'm going to need to make four uh, recharge buttons. Okay, two of them recharge their fire breaths. Uh, but that is it. And the other fire giants are going to go. Boy, isn't it great that they all act immediately after each other. Uh, this... Oh, this fire ogre actually lives because the hunger of Hadar went down. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, but he's not going to go in. He's too injured. This young fire giant is going to lead the charge. This other fire giant is going to storm in. Uh, this young fire giant is going to straight up, uh, no, she's just going to move to the side over here. Yep. Wrong screen. And then the big fire giant is going to lift up this anvil and throw it towards Boom Crash. Really, an anvil? Yep. Well, it's a rock. Oh! Uh, the anvil yeah, <laughs> flies towards Boom Crash. Uh, lava splatters everywhere as it kind of like hits sort of just before Boom Crash near the bridge, uh, collapsing it a bit. Uh, and then you take 26 bludgeoning damage from the ensuing wreckage uh, as it blasts you back. Uh, the fire giant is enraged as he sees the other fire giant that has fallen. Meanwhile, Mao. It is now your turn. She's counting numbers. <laughs> Where? Where's Amon? Uh, I point up. <laughs> you see Amon f hovering uh, above the scene of four hellhounds running towards you, an anvil smashed across the bridge right in front of Boom Crash, and two angry fire giants. Uh, well... We just need to back up and technically not attack them. The leader told them that they can back up. Just this way, this way. And uh, I'm going to try and fire off a warning shot, I guess, to the Hellhounds. Try and make them sort of back off a bit. Okay, using what? Fire. Mm. Okay, uh, it, it flings over towards them, and they only take the piercing damage if it hits, which I don't know if it does. It does not. I'm also going to turn off your animation. The pressing fire! Yeah, I don't know why that one turned on. Where is it? Cinder Smite. Too late. Okay. Uh, if that's it for your turn, Tethys is uh, going to start running out. So is Pran, so is Zuma, so you guys can all go now. So is Goose as well, if you guys want to move your characters. Two, three, six. They can get about right behind Duranga. Uh, Pran can Same. make it a bit further, because he can double dash. Eh. Okay. Uh, Amon is dead. Boom crash. Um, I bring him 30 feet closer to me. Okay. Uh, were you pinged? Oh, no, I um, pinged. No, I up. didn't ping. That's still up, just as a heads up. If you want to delete it. I, I deleted it. Okay. So you're, like, yeah. over these hellhounds. Yeah, pretty much. But he's still elevation high. Yeah, you can actually bring him up even further, because 30 feet is not high enough for these fire giants. They could probably jump up and get it. Okay, what about, yeah. What about the hellhounds? The hellhounds are not flying, uh, so they cannot jump up about, I'm going to say, 50 feet in the air. Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, Raise okay. them up a little bit higher. Okay. So, yeah, you're dangling bacon in front of them. Yeah, I, I they don't... They don't even really fly. notice. It's just the fire giants that might be able to reach, but not anymore now that it's out of their reach. But it's Dronga's yeah. turn. I'm uh, also backing oh, yeah. the hell up. Three, that is fine. Four. Five, six. So. 
two, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, she can dash up there through the hallway. Uh, doesn't notice the downed fire ogres in the side hall, which is good. Meanwhile, it's the Hellhound's turns, uh, and the lady. She's just gonna kind of follow up over here, but she only has a whip, she's not gonna attack. The Hellhounds are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. They're gonna rush in. These guys can't quite get there. Let's do their recharge for the two that don't have it recharged. Okay, three have recharged. Good. Uh, so one of them can't reach you. Uh, one is going to bite Boom Crash uh, and gets a 12. Another one is going to bite Mao as it uh, kind of goes around the side trying to cut off Mao's escape uh, and snaps at her, but ineffectively. Then this Hellhound is going to... I also realize that the other screen is not really showing this. Eh. This uh, Hellhound in the top left is going to uh, use its Fire Breath. So I'm going to need Mao and Booncrash to make dexterity saves. Does Mao have resistance or anything? Uh, Mao does have fire resistance, but that doesn't apply to a saving throw. God damn it. I forgot that my macro has an animation. Clever Chris. Clever <laughs> Chris putting an animation on something as it putters away one frame at a time. Cool. Uh, it doesn't fit in my computer. I've tried. Dell made it specifically so you can't fit any more. <laughs> uh, okay. So, now that that animation is passed, uh, let's deal... S uh, oh, okay, so it's 24 fire damage. Uh, so that's going to be 12 to Mao. Uh, actually, you succeeded, so you take 6 because of the half and then half again. Uh, Boom Crash, you also succeeded, so you take 12. Nice! Okay. And... Yes, so 6. Any further questions? No. Okay, this anvil is now gone. Uh, this guy is going to start storming over here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's with one move action. You know what? Uh, oh no, he's not going to risk the, the hellhounds. He's not going to throw any more rocks. Uh, this one is also going to get over here and continue the chase. And Mao, it is your turn. Talk. Yeah, push talk. Um, trying to shove like boom crash like back toward like the the hallway. So I'm gonna grab you and move you through the hellhound and kind of take a hit. Cause I don't want to kill anything. Cause she's coming up the hallway. Okay. Uh, so you're grabbing boom crash. You can move at half speed. Yep. So and then I'll grab her and move her with me. Uh, so she'll be right in front of me. Okay. Technically... Oh, yeah, so I get attack of opportunity from the one hellhound at the top. Yeah. Which misses. Because hellhounds aren't great. Uh, they, they can... They just deal good automatic damage sometimes. Oh. Uh, okay. You uh, rush in, and you see Dranga uh, storming down the hallway. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the other boys. Tethys. Move up to where Pran is. Uh, Zimasa, you can go as well. As well can Goose. Pran is gonna go. Dranga. And, I guess, meet up with Booncrash. And... Yeah. I don't know if you can do anything yet, Zumasu or Goose. Um, 
not make really it behind like... Dranga. That's about it. Six, one, I two. Also, uh, uh, did we hire that um, from Goose that the skull is down? The um, skull. yeah, yeah. Um, he screamed, "Skull down!" Shit. I'm looking through my inventory and I'm realizing some problems. <laughs> okay. Uh, Amon's dead. So that's two rounds of the one minute thing for Revivify. Booncrash, it is your turn. Um, I bring him 30 feet closer to me. Right. For some reason I thought you were talking about Goose. Um, but no, you're talking about Amon. Talking about yeah, Amon. The yeah. dead person is floating. Um, and I can't really do much. You lower him down a bit as you enter this uh, this more narrow hallway that isn't like mm -hmm. a, a giant chamber. Um, it's a giant chamber, but it's not a giant chamber. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm just going to stay because I also have enough HP and Mao doesn't, is looking kind of rough, so... No big deal, just sort of bleeding from the scalp and ah. beat up quite a bit. Well, I finally get to see what the, this hallway looks like. <laughs> uh, You're dead! This is what they've been talking about. Uh, okay, so Dranga finally uh, bursts through, uh, and the hellhounds uh, kind of like look up at this uh, fire giant, and they immediately start like backing off. Um, the other fire giants uh, look out uh, to where she is and go, Your Majesty! Your Majesty! There's intruders in the... And she raises up a hand. Dranga, call off the hounds. Uh, and you hear the crack of the whip as the hellhounds start retreating into the other room during their next turns. Uh, okay, that's a good thing. Something good happened. Uh, she approaches the other giants and says um I know of the intruders they have spoken to me M my lady you are injured and she like is still holding uh the wound over her uh abdomen she just kind of holds up a hand they have chosen to face our king and then they just kind of like look at each other confused and then eventually just nod and say as as you command but but they've killed they've killed a bunch of us you should see the bodies in there they were I don't want to hear it King Blazebeard will have his way with them if Encandorak doesn't she looks uh, down towards you guys sort of condescendingly um, look we can probably heal them and bring them back to life you don't have to be rude about it Probably not so many at this point. I don't got enough. I, I don't have enough spell slots for that. Fly that shit. Come on. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I tried talking to you all. You threw us in a pit, so who's at fault here? We didn't throw you in a pit. Came here of your own accord. And we were thrown down a pit to not have a conversation with anybody important, just some fucker over there. And I point off near the, the irons in the blacksmithing area. <laughs> Either way, um, Zumasu, you have a turn. All right. So this is a little DM discretion sort of thing. I don't have straight diamond dust. I just have some jewelry with diamond on it. And he only has 150 GP as I'm rummaging through his bag. Uh, well, what does the what is the price of the diamond thing that you have? It's uh, if you say I don't know, I'm going to hurt you. It's because it was, I don't think it's something like that. It's a diamond encrusted badge. Badge? Yeah, I don't think we ever got one because I don't know if it was valued. Hmm. Hey, Chris, kill him. Well, it's time to kill him also. I didn't want to have to kill two people in one day. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's a pretty diamond lead pattern metal. <laughs> God damn it. I, I usually give you guys the prices of them and. Well, usually we identify it immediately, but lately we've just been going like, we'll identify it later. But I, okay, well, either Basically, way. Basically, I'm saying, since we're using diamond dust, can I steal the diamond from this metal? Why don't you try... The object? Um, you can certainly try. 
Okay, what do I do to try this cast Revivify, or do I have to do an appraisal check or something? There's probably no time to uh, rip it out, but you can try and cast the spell with this many diamonds. I'll try and cast the spell with this many diamonds. Uh, so do you have Amon's diamonds? I would go through his bag, because I knew that he had some, and uh, I'd be surprised that he had that much left. Okay, then another round goes by as uh, Boom Crash drags Amon closer to the ground to you guys. Uh, it would go like me looking through my stuff, realizing I only have that. Me going through his stuff, realizing he only has that, and then be like, "Well, here we go." Yeah, I'm gonna uh, uh, remove the, the 150 diamonds from my inventory, by the way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just, Understandable. Just yeah. And I'll break the badge. Okay. <laughs> uh, you break the badge apart uh, using your giant strength to just pry the gem from its uh, little uh, compartment there. And uh, you begin to frantically uh, invoke Hieronius and beg for him to bring back this uh, important creature uh, in the, you know, world timeline here. Uh, I'm going to have you make a religion check. Oh, great. I love these rolls. <laughs> God damn it. Chris, couldn't you have killed me on the 17th? When the new book release. Oh, I drew a line instead of clicking my character. One second. All right. Here we go. Sweet. Yay! The uh, diamonds crackle with electricity, and they fizzle out as you see Amon's. Uh, sort of translucent soul just move back into his body uh, like layering over him uh, and you see a last breath come out of his mouth uh, returning to him finally as uh, little sparks of electricity uh, burst out from uh, his mouth and eyes <laughs> uh, Hieronius seems to have accepted this sacrifice yay I'm gonna pat him on the head and just be like we need to get more diamonds buddy <laughs> So am I alive? You are alive. You have been revivified. Normally I wouldn't have a check with a revivify, but because of the nature of not knowing how much this diamond was worth, I did. I used the jewelry trick. <laughs> uh, it's very close. I use Rado Absorption. I, I, I cancel out the revivify. <laughs> what? <laughs> Got him. Someone else can make use of that those spell slots. Oh god, please don't make me <laughs> We need the help. <laughs> no. So, if we're gonna okay. be fighting your father... We have to fight... Well, it would be honorable if we were to fight at our fullest strength, so... Are you going to let us rest? Or give us a place to rest? She looks down at you guys, um... and says... You can, I grip my sword. <laughs> you can rest in this hallway, and she gestures over towards uh, the eastern hallway here. You're not to enter the rest of our fortress until you are ready. The ritual chamber is to the north, and she points towards the north where that uh, gaping fire giant uh, is emblazoned on the door. Uh, she points towards the empty eye sockets. That is where you place the key. And then she kind of nods towards Zumasu. And Kandorag has the other one. Can you ping where that is? Is that the, the doorways in front of us? On the, the other side? Doorway okay, to the okay. north. Yeah. Where, is, where do we find the Kandorag for the other one? If you keep going down the hallway to the east, you will find him. Right, Take as well. much time as you need. Latch up the dogs, and don't bother them, but make sure they don't leave. We accept your terms. Good. Mm. I'll be resting in my chambers. Hopefully this works out and we won't have to disturb you. Uh, she also calls for an additional guard uh, to be present with her. And she's like walking on leg. The wizard still didn't send us. She's an idiot. We're trying to kill her too. Not that she's listening, but whatever. 
Alright, so we get a short rest over here, I guess. I'm fine oh, with that. Further in the hallway, yeah. Are we still in combat? No. Okay. I can get rid of this. Uh, it'll allow me. I doubt they'd let us have a long rest. <laughs> she said no. take as much time as you need. Yeah. Are we being... I wouldn't risk a... a giant? Yeah, I wouldn't risk a long rest as much as I'd want one. Look, she's all for honor. They're not going to attack us. She thinks that her king can kill us or whatever. Maybe he's not even a real fire giant. Maybe something else. The only thing I'm upset about is I'm going to lose my giant powers and we're we're down on diamonds, guys. So this is going to be rough. Well, you don't have to take an entire rest if you don't want to. I'm taking a short rest and just dump in all of our hit die. Though I think that the potion only lasts an hour, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If we take the rest of my potion. I can heal you guys for a little bit. We can try and gauntlet this. What you guys thinking? Because, um, like... anyone... It's a, it's a Mon and Mao that have the lowest HP right now, and I don't know if we have enough to heal them to a reasonable amount without taking a rest. Well, we'll need at least an hour, and I can roll a hit die. Yeah, and I'd like my spell oh, slots back. That's true. The spell slots for Bonecrash are big. I think we have to take a short rest just so they can get their hit points back. Yeah. I'd say take as many hit points as you think you'll need. Okay. Max, and I still only got 97. Uh, good times. Alright. I think I have two more. Uh, no, I just rolled well, before well. Before you take your rest, can you zap me with the uh, Witch Bolt? Uh, totally. Yay, Rod of Absorption! <laughs> yeah, I can't pull it. Eh. Okay, what's the spell slot on the... What spell slots do you cast those on there? Uh, hold on oh. one second. Um, she casts it at 5th level, I believe. If I use... Um, if I use... Um, warlock spell my, slot. I'll use my last... Um, whatchamacallit? My last um, warlock slot. But I have two more wizard spell slots. Those so don't come yeah, back when you take a short left rest. Don't... Yeah, we just okay. don't come back at the short let rest. That's from like oh, okay. yeah, that's why it's usually after which one. Fun. Okay, so yeah, you get one. I get my divine level, favor back. No, level level one or level um, it five. is a level one spell, but it automatically casts at level five for that's a warlock. Okay, um, just a sort of meta question, but kind of in character. Do you guys think I should summon a, um, Pedro or any or my dog or anything just so we have somebody to give aid? Honestly, that might be good. We don't know what this creature is that this Dranga lady keeps talking about. Should I summon Mortimer? Um, crap, what did he name my dog? Was it Diego or Pedro? Or Jose. Jose. <laughs> it was I'm a the name of your pets. Which one would you guys prefer? The little dog or the, the, the lizard? I think the lizard. Because lizard can climb on walls, right? Yeah. It wouldn't do much except for add a aid action from time to time and maybe take a hit that would have killed somebody. Yeah, I think that's useful. Okay, I, I use a spell slot to summon lizard. And I lose my giant strength. Before that, I'm going to show it off a little bit, you know, picking up shit and making the hallway nice. Why? Because I don't get to have that strength often. You were able to smash things. We piss them off. They still don't think... They think we're here to kill them. And well, we kind of pseudo were, but now they think that whatever we're here to kill is going to kill us. The king, for whatever reason, but uh, I'm going to like whisper, it's like, but I have something up my sleeve for that. I don't know how smart he's going to be. I do have an old trinket that I picked up from the city. It's basically that music box that is like charm person uh, once per day. I'm going to have you make an arcana check. Me? Uh, yeah. Giants aren't people. <sighs> they are giants. Giants. Oh, um, I have three more potentially useful potions for you, Zuzu. I have a potion of growth, which I forget what that does. I think it makes my size bigger and I get more damage from it. Which could be useful, because oh, giants. Yes. So, yeah, I'll give that to you. Um, I have also have clairvoyance and resistance. So resistance clairvoyance... might be good because of fire resistance. <laughs> yeah. So I'll give uh, the growth potion and the resistance potion to you. Also, Simone, Can... so do you 
you still have that weapon that allows us to go through walls? It still has one charge left, so if we need to make a hole, I can. I haven't used it yet today. I, I pointed at the wall next to us, and I was like, I don't know if that's going to be close, but there's like a whole secret room back there full of chests with tons of stuff. I'm just going to lean and be like, we, we negotiated to not fight Dranga, and I think we need to save our strength. There, it's not fighting. There's a fire giant, like, watching you guys I'm this entire them. time, by the way. Just yeah, letting yeah, you that's know. Why I'm, that's why I'm leaning into her and just being like, we're not we're not taking on more aggro than we need right now. All right. Well, I'm just trying to state. I tried telling them that there are fire giants that seems like the wizard's totally controlling up in the spires. She didn't believe me, so I don't know what the hell's going on. There was fire giants even above this one. They seemed kind of weird. Like, they didn't... It took them forever to, like, think... Wait, you're saying? Wait, 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 wait. This is in character sort of thing. You're saying that Dranga that that their fire giants were abducted from here, and Dranga confirmed that. She didn't confirm it. She, she said that her people have been taken or or killed, and that the wizard sends people down here to like kill them. Uh, but, so yeah, like, I turned to I turned to a friend and just like I think Mal might be a little was a little bit out of it, but I think that something definitely is up with those colossus then. It would make sense if they were taken from the fire giants and why they both oh, have a beef. They're fire giants. <laughs> She's like struggling just to be like, believe me. Well, that I could believe. It, this gives a bit more weight to her evidence. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get out of here when we uh, finally figure we out the situation. We might just not need to go back. Yeah, we might not just, we maybe don't go back to the place. I, I just don't know how, uh, how kind these, uh, fire giants are gonna be, even if we do come out successful in all these things. Do you think I should, like, secure an exit, get a rope up there or something? Might be able to I mean, sneak by these guys. Maybe. I don't care. I we'll also won't be help. able to reliably climb the walls, though. So you can teleport us out, right? That was to Oh, Tethys. to Tethys. Uh, that was actually Pran talking, but uh, Tethys says, I could still use my arcane gate uh, to get... I think we gotta save that for our escape. Mm. Yeah, better for the escape. As for the uh, Pran, like, um, uh, I wouldn't do anything, because right now we are under ceasefire and they are keeping watch. Let's just... The fact that they are letting us do this at all is a... is... Not ideal, but it's the best we can hope for. That's why I shoved that whole honor shit on him. You weren't there, she was saying how, oh, if we attacked first anyway, then it might have been more honorable and they would have actually talked to us. Yeah, it was really... she's a bitch. I'm sorry that you have a beef with, um, what was her name again? Dranga. Dranga. Dog shit. Right. Anywho. I think we gotta go start heading to, um, what's it called again? Uh, I have it in the notes. In Kandarog. Mm. Head to the north. Get the second key. To the east. To the east. To go to, to the, the north. Yeah, yeah. The north is where the ritual room is. The east is where In Kandarog is. Yeah, the east has the beast. The north has the fourth. Nice. Okay. Alright, well, I'm just letting you know once we face this king, hopefully we don't have to fight him, but I don't. No, no, you're gonna have to fight them, apparently. Like, these people are stubborn. Yeah, if the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, the trees would be way worse. Yeah. Alright, I guess we chop down the tree. Maybe he's made- he's got- maybe there's something clever we can do, that's all we can hope for. I'm fire resistant, I can just stand in front of him for a bit. It's not- uh, Well, not... anyway, let's- let's get this done. It's- okay, do you wanna rest here longer? I mean, I only rested as a short rest, so one hour for me. Yeah, that's I think all we got time for is a short rest. Did Pran use any of his hit die? Uh, I can do that. I wasn't doing anything with them at first. Uh, a fire ogre bursts out from underneath the banner. Uh, uh, my friend's dead! These guys did it! These guys did it! I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you! And then the fire giant just kind of grabs him and throws him into the other room. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did, did he have to die? <laughs> uh, no, well, he was actually, he was one of the ones that was knocked unconscious. Uh, he's actually okay. at one hit point right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, he gets up to his feet and, like, uh, rushes off. 
And the okay. fire giant just like looks down at you guys again. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna give these guys some hit points. While that's happening, I guess I'm gonna look at the fire giant. Hey, can I ask you a question? It just looks down at you. All right, you don't have to look down on me. Well, you're not exactly tall, then, Ed. I know, but I, I assume it's probably more in the eyes. Look, if your friends were taken from here, and the wizard is holding them as prisoner, wouldn't you want them back? Uh, make a persuasion check. Wow, not a thing I'm good at, but okay. Hold hmm. on, I'm just, uh... Rolling some dice for for Tethys. Uh, yeah, okay, they're both back at full. Cool. Um, okay, the fire giant uh, looks down at you and stares at you for uh, a few seconds after you say your piece, uh, and the fire giant speaks to you uh, in common, and it says, "Any of our friends were taken by that witch." Whether or not you're with them, that's on you. We want our friends back. Of course we do. We just can't launch a full frontal assault on that place. Well, obviously, she's crazy and really powerful, and that's a giant cult tower or something. But it must suck to be fighting your comrades every single time you try and get them back. Disguise is those creatures as colossi like, trying to instigate like some sort of like emotional response to see if he like actually cares or not um I'm trying to see if he's kind of dim like the people above I guess we should make insight checks yeah that sounds like obviously. an insight check he's obviously not dim he can respond the other ones did respond too but they're just like slower uh he seems a little annoyed with you uh, which is more emotion than before with the other fire giants, to be honest. Uh, that's, that's the intelligent response, being annoyed. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, although, he does say uh, that we are working on figuring out how to get our allies back. That is one of the reasons that the king is indisposed, from what I'm told. And would he try to even work with someone else? We are not affiliated with that witch. Look at me. Look at me. Do I look like I belong in this place? Or in her place? She takes all people, brainwashes them, sends them back to us, and we kill them. Or enslave them? I do notice you got a lot of different people up there. That is not our place. Let, let me ask you something. Uh, Wait, what does he mean by that is not our place? Okay. Uh, I didn't hear what you said, Amon. I, yeah, I didn't... And Dan asked uh, something, too, so I didn't hear either thing. Amon, okay. go first. Okay. So, what I was going to ask is, are you aware of the state of the people the floor above? Okay, well, it's kind of related anyway. Um, he says, it's not our place up there. The witch controls the mines. She has her enslaved people up there, mining for her weapons and whatnot. We lost control of the mines some time ago. Huh. Oh, that's not good. So, we were thrown down here by one of them brainwashed from the witch. Got it. Not brainwashed from the fire giants. Okay. Most likely. Uh. Well, I'm sorry for being annoying. Good. Because you Fine. are. I'm gonna. I'm gonna step I'm forward. Trying. From your personal experience, is Dranga at least somewhat reasonable? Versus your leader. We are proud people. We 
don't like your folk. We well, would I never think... bend a knee to someone as... Well, someone with your stature. Look, I get it, we're short. What we're saying is, we did not know that the witch controlled your minds. And I do mean your minds. Would you be willing to do a little quid pro quo? Or do you think Drongo would would be able to convince the king to set up something to try and take back your minds? Dronga says you seek the crown. I, we Is do. that true? Do? It's not a lie, no. But we seek it for our different purposes. Not for the witch. Then you will die by our king's hand. Cool. So you're death. saying he'll just never give it up? I mean, it is kind of their sacred artifact. Their most sacred. Oh, Fran looks here. over at him on. You heading down already? It seems like there's not much progress here, and if you guys are ready, let us make haste. Guys, I well, think we're heading down. Guess we'll have to see what comes of this. Well, before I hope Dranga won't feel too bad. And before running off, as you guys are stepping away, I just stayed back and I was like, so when we fight your king, can we just fight not to the death? If you intend to steal the crown, there won't be any other choice. We intend to earn it. <laughs> Do as you will. And Kandarag is down the hall. I'll have to go see whatever this demon puppy is. So, guys, should I drink my potion now or later? Um, that potion uh, of resistance, wait. what type of resistance does it grant? Because each one... It did not say, so I think it it's your not... discretion. I'm sorry, it didn't specify. Uh -huh. I feel like I specify a lot of these things. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, but I, I bought it, like, a really long time ago. Um, Were was you, it from Gillian? Was it before I, yeah, you went into the Gillian. Underdark? Wait, are, are you saying Potion of uh, Resistance? It was Potion of Resistance. I bought it from Gillian, and I think it was prior to Underdark. I've been holding on to these for a while. The uh, potion of resistance is all that's written. Yeah, if it's, it's if it's varied. random, it, if it if it doesn't have a specification, I think the DM literally. Yeah, but I think it. that she wanted a specific one for the Underdark. I just don't remember what it was. Um, I'm so sorry. This Underdark is probably acid because they already knew. Yeah. Them. And and because of Dane, because we hadn't like come into. Oh, that might have been before. true. That yeah. probably would make sense. Oh, that does make sense. It's, I would yeah, believe it's, that. It's, it's, yeah, it's likely acid. Okay. Uh, so, so it's not going to be as relevant here. Yeah. But I'll change it so it says Either acid. way, write, write that down. Yeah. Make sure, yeah, make sure it's written down. Yeah, that's write that good. down, write okay. that down. Um, what was I about to say? Um, so the growth potion only lasts an hour as well. Um, should I save that for the king, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. See, see even the eye to eye level. Maybe he'll respect you then. Yeah. I, okay. I also think it's just like wait on it and like have it at the top of your bag ready to go, but I mean it's floating around in my bag of holding. Yeah, <laughs> just, 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 just just drink it before we go to the meet the king. We'll just leave it at that. Yep. We don't need yeah, let's we'll just let's just go on. Okay. Alright, let's go to Incinerac. <laughs> I get on top of Mortimer. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you guys start heading down the hallway. Um, it's quite a ways away um, as you guys are traversing these caverns. Um, they don't branch off too much, uh, and if they do, it's only a few feet one or so ways. Uh, you guys can see that there are deep claw marks in some uh, portions of the cave, particularly on the floor. Um, it doesn't look like this was carved out by uh, the claw marks. It just seems like they're a more recent addition. Uh, eventually you start to see uh, ruined uh, 
what look to be structures sort of similar to the uh, construction back in the fire giant's fortress over there. Um, you see like these uh, tall square pillars um, and I'm gonna have you guys make a uh, history check. It's it's uh, related to the stonework. It's one of those times Only when you're like, I know, <laughs> the one time. Um, Did sure you make a help. check? No. Barney's intelligence was uh, was eight, so you probably would have helped. Wait, can the NPCs make a check? Uh. I'll let I'll let Tethys do one. Maybe he'd be more likely. He's he's yeah. Pran is probably not even paying attention because he just wants to get out. Mm. Mortimer got a nine. Mortimer <laughs> cannot make the check. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna say boom crash. Um, well, Amon, you can uh, Amon and Mao, you guys can definitely tell that these things are um, probably probably of. Uh, fire giant construction uh like they were probably made by giants uh they look to be very old uh and furthermore you can see that um does it start looking like the tower we know the tower is underneath uh it is mind. sort of reminiscent of the tower although they are capped uh the capitals of the pillars the ones that are still intact mm -hmm. they appear to be uh like demonic looking uh, or devilish. Yep, sounds about right. They've got uh, like uh, bat faces and ears and wings and claws uh, clasping the tops of the pillars. Uh, it just is kind of an ominous thing that you notice as you move along. The caverns narrow uh, to be a little more like your height. Um, I would probably have pointed out the bat things, being like, "Can you guys see that? Can you see it?" <laughs> paranoia. What about the bat things? Okay, well, at least you can see that. Demon sh shit. Tower demons. Demons here. Just saying. That's all. Keep walking. Yeah, but, but, what about, what about honey, it? Honey, what, what, what are you drawing the comparison to? Use your words. You're doing great. Three towers. Mm -hmm. Demon uh -huh. cult. The things that we saw before. Wait. The swamps. This, yeah, let's say the swamps. Is that like... Wait, you're saying this might be related to the swamps? Yeah. Huh. It looks the same. Before? Is is this similar to what you said you saw with the witch? With the, you mean with the Tanagra. when you were freaking yes. out in the courtyard? Yes, that thing. Yes. I enjoy yes, that we've uh, gone away from calling her Tanagrin, and now it's just the witch. Jeez. I mean, we have an audience. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, that, that that is probably what she was talking about. There's also hellhounds here. There was hellhounds in the swamp. That no. is a fair point. Now, now the comparison. That so seems kind of racist, says Tethys. Wait, what? I mean, hellhounds can be anywhere, really. No, that's not how that works. Eh. They'd need a portal to something, wouldn't they? Hell, hounds, hands. Should we do a nature? Should we do a nature check here? <laughs> About the aspects of power. more like a religion check. Okay, like does it does it need to be like a portal or something? It needs to be by or. What do I know about hellhounds? Uh, so, uh, after your encounters with them in the, actually, uh, you probably wouldn't have encountered them, but. Not the Mosu. You're learning, uh, in training, uh, for being a gray guard. You come across hellhounds. They're, the, they're a lesser sentient, uh, fiend. They just have about dog intelligence or wolf intelligence. They just follow the strongest thing. Um, although they do need to be summoned into this world, uh, they could possibly appear through uh, other portals or latent portals or just where the veil is thin. Um, so but I just, if I they forget. are summoned, they fiends... just they just exist in the world sometimes. Okay, do fiends exist um, from the abyss or which one's which? Hellhounds are the... present throughout most of the lower planes. They're like from just about any sort of plane that mm -hmm. has evil in it. Okay. Mm. They work for both demons and devils. Okay. They're just kind of this beast that is uh, pressed into service. But they are fiends, technically. Mm -hmm. That's also kind of useful to know. 
Okay, maybe you're not. I, I'm remembering this, and I just gotta get. Okay, maybe you're a little bit correct, Tethys. It definitely doesn't bode well if the fire giants are utilizing them, though. I agree. This is this is definitely a turf war between two forces, and we still gotta figure out what the king's trying to do because if he's trying to open up a portal or some shit, that's not great either. No, no, it's not. Because why we way, why we keep on running thing. into people with bad intentions? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, anyway, you guys uh, head down the 15-foot high tunnel. Um, you can see that the darkness or the uh, dim light from the uh, fire giant sort of volcanic area has like faded. But then uh, you can see an orange glow coming from up ahead. And uh, as you approach, you see that there is a uh, a lot of tile work on the ground, and then there is just a large fissure uh, in front of you uh, with a set of stairs that look like it's been like upturned. Uh, and you feel an immense wave of heat, uh, almost like a force field, practically. It just hits you in a wave um, as you approach these stairs. Even though they're upturned, the fact that they've been tilted uh, allows you to sort of descend them the wrong way. Um, and you can see a rather interesting and terrifying and hard-to-describe sight. Um, you descend these stairs, and you can see that there is what appears to be a uh, fallen temple that has cracked and fallen away from you uh, down into a volcanic pit. Uh, the temple, as it is, uh, is a sort of Roman sort of uh, temple that's just pillars, floor, ceiling. Um, and you can see a distant, uh, like, rocky... Uh, sort of embankment down at the bottom uh, where a pillar has like fallen loose um, into the lava and through the the heat distortion you can just barely make out that there is something down there um, that is shifting and I'm going to have you guys make perception checks are we fighting a lava beast or some shit? I, I am not doing great uh, The there. heat! <laughs> Booncrash, you're the first to get a good look at it. It appears to be uh, a large, um, scaled creature with a lizard head and two gigantic bat wings. And its scales are colored red. It is oh. what appears to be an absolutely gigantic red dragon. Uh, oh. And I'm going to okay. take you to ye map. I do need to move some people around. Yeah. So I'm going to drag you up here Just first. Whoever is near me, um, I'm I'm smacking them and I'm pointing and like fuck fuck. <laughs> um does Mortimer notice this? Cuz I totally don't. But would he be freaking out? Uh, you guys eventually do. Uh, you can see the blob that she's talking about, but she's the one that's been able to make it out. Um, sure. But yeah, uh, you guys should be able to see around this map. If you can't, let me know, because I don't think I have lighting on this map. Yeah, we can see. Okay, good. Uh, so on the... I'll explain. On the right side of the map is the vertical uh, map. So if you scroll down... You will see the temple descending into the pit of lava where in Kandorag the dragon is resting. Uh, and if you go to the left side of the map uh, over here, you can see uh, the top down version of this map, as well as the different levels down where the pillars are as it gets deeper and deeper and it gets larger and larger. Does that make so sense? It, so is it so it's below us. Yes. Uh, okay. If you guys are right here, um, here I'll do a drag one actually. Uh, so right here, that is technically uh, how we normally play D and D. That's the top down. The one over here is to determine height, if necessary. Oh. Okay. Oh. In Kandorag so, does not seem to have noticed you yet. Yeah, this is uh, Mario against Bowser. We gotta, we gotta do some platforming. Um, 
What if we get him to come up here? I don't know how you get a dragon to want to leave its lair. I mean, you can pee on it, it might piss it off. I don't it think the pee's gonna reach. It, there. <laughs> it just turns into a mist. I'm gonna get some water real quick. You guys can keep discussing. Uh... I'm a little confused by the second left hand map. So the first one's the normal top. Oh, it's each layer. It's each I layer to go down. Yeah, so that's like the view and like what we're seeing. And then the one on the right is just like the top down so we can move our characters and stuff. Okay, let's start off with one thing. This seems like we're gonna need mobility. I got my shoes to walk on walls. Who else can deal with that sort of thing? I can spend uh, Do you want to ride my lizard, essentially? Maybe? So I can go up walls if you need to. Until he's spent. Just for basic mobility. On him, right? Yeah. Because uh, this seems like worst case scenario we want a way to not to climb back up if something happens. So I'm gonna pass my lizard to probably Amon, because he needs to be able to be mobile. Hold on, hold on, before we figure things out. So, the issue is of getting down there, we think. But I or bringing him up here. Dragon! Do we yeah, have... Everyone sees that already. Yeah. Like, come on. Dragons are intelligent. Maybe we can give him something. Are, yeah, are we going to say hi? Are we going to present him with gifts? Are we going to try and seduce the dragon? Are we going to try and fight the dragon? Guys, you don't have a bard in the party. <laughs> uh, we have people with good charisma, but not that good. That's true. Two of you are... Uh, actually, three of you are charisma-based. Screw you. <laughs> Wait, who's the third? Tethys. Huh. I thought he was a cleric. Yeah. I thought he was a cleric. <laughs> I say we maybe have. If, if we just want the freaking key, maybe we can negotiate with him. But I am still giving my uh, uh, newt, my lizard to uh, Amon, so he doesn't just get knocked off and die. Can can we try you to communicate with the dragon here first before going down? You could fly goose down and have goose say something. Um, Tell the boom press. I mean. Goose can... What what exactly are we going to try and communicate? Like, can we get by you so we can t have a conversation with the king? Uh, we can just say we're here to trade for the key. We have many valuables. Well, maybe no, even... no, 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 don't do that. Because once okay. again, they'll say, like, we want everything. Okay, so we need to come up with exactly what we want to give them then. Or no, what do you anything. want? Just okay. In exchange for the key, let them set the price, and then we start haggling. They probably will say everything, though. Say death, and then we have to fight it. We'll make our intentions clear. Just ask for the thing, and we'll see how it goes. We'll wing it there. I like that idea better. So we send Goose because he's mildly expendable. So he can Sorry, talk. Yeah. 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 Unlike someone over here. Okie dokie. What? Goose. Baby, I love you. Do I you know crash. you do. <laughs> um, Tethys can't climb walls either, right? So how about he get on the same uh, lizard as well as Amon? Well, Preemptively think... setting this up in case we get knocked off. You're not listening to me. I I can I can walk I can run on walls. Okay, then Tethys get on the lizard. Oh, you're high enough level to run on walls. It's only level two. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of the run on water. Um, okay. Monk shit. So you send Goose down. Right, does anybody else in the meantime need me to cast Spider Climb on them? I poke my boots so they're activated in case something goes on. <laughs> you don't need that. I'm asking everybody else. <laughs> uh, raise his hand. Yeah. I don't feel like falling into fire. Okay, Brand I smack says, you. I, I can shoot from afar. And Tetha says, I can too. It's not my strong suit. Yeah, well, I can shoot from afar too. Pulls out Cinder Smite, and I say its name, and I was like, but it's fire! I thought you had a regular bow. Why don't you just use that? Get rid of it. She get rid of it. She was so excited about her special bow that she yeeted her old one. <laughs> Nothing will ever be immune to fire, she this said really angrily. Cool. So, okay, so, um... Boom Crash, like, holds your hand and pats you on the shoulder and is like, 
I believe in you, you're gonna do great. I'm really proud of how you've been handling things so far. Positive reassurance, and she gives you spider climb. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, so Mao has the spider climb. Um, that does require concentration, right? I think so. Okay. Uh, Goose starts flying down. Uh, as Goose starts getting into this, like, uh, deeper third level here, it starts to get hot enough where it might start to do damage. So, uh, Goose just kind of hovers on the outside of that. Um, mm -hmm. like, uh, speaks back to you mentally, saying, eh, It's getting really hot down here, boss. I'm not sure if I should go much further. I hope it can hear me from here. What do you want me okay. to say? Um, say, and should I just speak now as if I were speaking as Goose? Is he just going to parrot what I say? Um, yeah, sure. Or should, okay. I, it's, I just want to make it as easy for you as possible. So, um, uh, greetings, mighty Encanderag. Um, I would like to barter for the key. Uh, okay. In Kandarag, uh, you can see through Goose's eyes, uh, in Kandarag kind of, like, shakes their head, uh, as they kind of awaken. They, like, look around themselves and then look up towards where Goose is. Uh, it blinks a few times and then it just yawns as fire, like, starts, uh, poking out of its, uh, gaping maw. It extends its wings, which are far beyond what this token is, uh, filling most of the cavern. It arches its spine as it gets up to its two feet. Uh, and it looks once again up at Goose, and then it leaps uh, into the air and starts flying up towards you oh. guys. Fork. <laughs> It passes by Goose, and it emerges uh, sort of towards uh, this second level here. Um, it doesn't quite get uh, level with you guys, but it perches on like one of the uh, nearby like uh, cliff faces poking out of the walls of this volcanic forge. Um, it then uh, speaks in Draconic first. Does anybody speak Draconic? Uh, no. I speak abyssal. <laughs> it's about right there. Um, we, we had a lizard person who spoke draconic, didn't we? It's true, yeah. Uh, Once. This entire dungeon would have been my character of city. Uh, yeah. Three on the, in the stonework, uh, speaking draconic. Yeah. We could have a good Both of your other characters would have been more useful here. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then we wouldn't have had a cleric, so we would have been dead anyway. Grunsba, na kula kainz. Mortimer, you get any of that? <laughs> you are not the giants. What do you seek here with that key? An audience with the Fire Lord. <laughs> and they just suggested you come and get it then. Pretty much. We have the other one already. I'm sure they'd like that, wouldn't they? Its claws sink into the temple uh, floor as it starts, like, climbing up towards you guys. Uh, finally, it gets, like, right uh, in your faces with its, like, uh, tall neck poking out of this hole uh, and, like, looking at you guys. Um, you can feel the heat emanating off of this thing's uh, breath every time that it speaks a word. <sighs> so, you want the key, and I'm supposed to give it to you. That doesn't sound like the agreement that we made with the fire giants. Look, that's, that's, that's what they told us. I don't exactly know the details, so if you want to fill it in, now you, you might guess. What, what is, is your, your relationship? Agreement? Yeah. I was told to keep it safe. If your will was misrepresented. I was told that it would be kept safe per our agreement. I was not to give it to anyone that was not a fire giant. 
Oh. Well, we got it from the, uh, uh, we got the other one from uh, Dranga, uh, the Fire Giant's uh, Lord's uh, daughter. Then I surmise that the deal is still on. And you have taken it from her. Well, Very she's well. The that, she's the one that told us to meet you here, so it's pretty consensual. T to be honest, uh, great big one. Uh, great big I, one. <laughs> great big one. Yeah, no, Mal's not that clever right now. Uh, big <laughs> dragon. She did kind of laugh at us at the idea of us talking to you, so I assume she gave us the item so that you could think we took it and possibly kill us for her. Why would you say uh, that out loud? <laughs> I'm just saying. I appreciate your honesty. And then Incandarag, uh goes to grab at Mal with its ah. maw, and it makes a bite attack ah. against you. God damn it. <laughs> uh, does a 16 hit you? Uh, I think that might just hit. Yes. 16 is my armor class. It snaps you up in its jaws, and you take uh, 15 plus 11 fire damage. So 11 uh, is half to 6, uh, so you take 21 damage. Uh, it grabs you in its maw, and oh, let me get over to the right one. Uh, it grabs you in its maw, and then it just tosses you into the pit. <sighs> you fucker! Uh, make a dexterity save. Does she get my bonus before she gets tossed? Ah <laughs> uh, no! Ah uh, no! I do have spider climb. If I ever get to the wall. You do. You do. Um, you fall far more than is good for you. Uh, you start plummeting. Uh, you pass by, like, the first set of pillars, uh, before you finally are able to, like, orient yourself towards the, uh, the, f like, floor of this, quote-unquote. I need you to stick. Please Ooh, stick. Hold Please on, stick. And then your feet oh, damn finally... It. Damn it. Your feet finally, uh, touch down with the floor... Uh, and you, like, tumble a bit before you, like, get into Spider-Man position, prone on the floor of this wall, uh, dangling just, uh, down near the pit. And, yeah, you're gonna be more like there, actually. Uh, you are going to take, uh, 4d6 bludgeoning damage. Uh, 14 bludgeoning damage. <sighs> Could be worse. And you are hanging by the skin of your teeth above the lava. Uh... Let's roll for initiative. I'm going to use the tokens on the right for my roll. Uh, so don't roll. I'm going to do the combat tracker like we normally do. Yeah, I figured. It just sounds nicer. Mal's way down there. Okay. Uh, cool. Mao goes first. Uh, oh. So you are clinging with spider climb. I'm just gonna try and scramble so the nearest thing I can see I can stand on. And that's that pillar. Okay. So I have to use uh, a bonus action to dash so I can get over there. Okay. I'm trying to like arrange you guys how I think you're arranged. <laughs> Which pillar are you on? That pillar? Okay. Cool. Uh. Also, Incandarag is not on that level. Okay. Uh, so we have roughly everybody's positions set out. Uh, so you scramble over there. Anything else with your turn? Uh, no, I'm just gonna probably hide here. Okay. Uh, make that hide check. It is actually quite relevant with dragons. So they wouldn't fall for a disguise, would they? It's a 25. It's a 25. Uh... Okay, cool. Just checking. That's fine. I'm not horrified. Zumasu, it's your turn. I'm gonna go start drawing the scene. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over... Is it actually within melee range, or no? Uh... Or it grabbed her, right? Yeah, it grabbed her. It has like a 10-foot reach. Uh, but to get to anything, like, relevant, uh, you'd probably need to get over towards the token. 
in five feet of it. If I was over here, I'm saying, like, would that be able to hit it? You'd have to get down five feet. On the wall horizontally. Okay. I guess I could technically do that. Well, the stairs uh, actually work for five feet that way. You see these stairs right, here are, I'm like, gonna... on their side, but they're, like, square, so you can still walk down them, quote-unquote. I thought you were giving us the key, I yell at it. You misunderstood. That's what all is says. your relationship with them dragons? And I'm gonna take a swing at it. Uh, with sure. them fire giants. Uh, that oh, hits. Oh, wait, I did, oh. it doesn't, um, minus a bit. <laughs> oh yeah, you uh, need to readjust your strength, because that potion is no longer on you. Would have been nice. Uh, it would have been nice. Uh... Okay, so that's minus three, though. So does a 23 hit? A 23 does hit, though. Wait, okay. Thirteen damage? And what does he say to my... Uh, uh, I, I don't know, I'm negotiating while hitting him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you smack him upside the jaw uh, as he like goes in for a snap at you as well. Um, and he just roars at you uh, and then kind of speaks some epithets in Draconic uh, and then says uh, Damn, what would he say? Uh, what, what did you say to him again? What are the fire giants to you? The fire giants are a deal. Nothing more. And I will follow that to the letter. Alright. Second attack then. <laughs> Alright, second attack then. <laughs> Uh, that, oh, sweet. That's, that still hits. Still hits. Alright. Yeah. Not a bad turn so far. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna cast um, shield, of, uh, shield on Amon this time, so we'll actually do the thing. Do the thing! Uh, you hold your hand out over towards Amon, and a shield of Hyronius pops up, magically swirling around. I'm also gonna yell out Amon, do the thing! <laughs> Alrighty. I just, I just got Lyra head up. He's like, oh, now we're doing the thing. Now we're doing the thing. Uh, okay. The dragon is going to use a legendary action to simply uh, look back to where Mao was. Uh, he's going to attempt a perception check. No. Oh. That was pretty low. It's pretty low. Thank God. He looks around. You actually did beat his passive perception of 23 uh, with your normal stuff, but uh, he, he does have a very high perception. He looks down and assumes that the lava has taken care of Mal um, and goes back to fighting you guys. Goose, it's your turn. Ka! Ka, motherfucker! Um... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Um. So can Goose land on his like butt or something? <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. Like like a crow going to peck at the animal. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking of. Um. So yeah, it's shocking, shocking grasp. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Goose goes over to sit on the butt, um, which then on your turn you can activate your shock and grasp. Yep. Mortimer's turn. Uh, uh, who's who's on Mortimer? You kind of place them on Tethys. Tethys, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that's about it. Mortimer would probably just take a step back with them on top of him. <laughs> okay. Because unless I'll just I'll have Mortimer basically listen to Tethys sort of like gestures, so. I don't know, advantage on his animal handling if he wants him going anywhere, unless I want him to go specifically somewhere. Okay. Um, he's he's probably gonna keep keep using his range, as he said. Yeah, so basically, yeah, all Mortimer would do is literally just back up. <laughs> uh, it is Pran's turn. Since they have the option, they're gonna take out their short sword uh, and go slashing. And since you're within five feet, that's actually a normal... Uh, or it applies the sneak attack bonus. 
And the AC is 19, so those both hit. First attack deals 28 damage. Chunk. Uh, and the second one deals 8. Chunk. Uh, I'm glad we brought Pran. I'm <laughs> glad Pran decided to come along. The dragon, uh, its face is like getting swatted away by Pran's attacks uh, after Zumasu, like, uh, like uh, distracts it a bit. Meanwhile, let me see. Okay. The uh, dragon is then going to lift off at the end of Pran's turn. It's going to push away from the floor uh, with a beat of its wings, and it's going to use its wing attack as it does so. Uh, Boom Crash, Zumasu, and Pran, and Goose are going to have to make dex saves. They get my bonus though, right? Uh, except for Goose, yes. Okay. I'm having a good old time. <laughs> okay. Stupid bouncy rogue. Does a 14 help? Uh, 14 does not help. Pran, uh, does succeed, thanks to your bonus. Oh, Goose nails it! Yeah, Goose, that it- <laughs> Goose beat the, uh, the DC, because the DC is 22. Uh, so... Oh, you may. <laughs> oh, I like that noise. Um... Sorry, I, I take a small delight in playing dragons in my dungeons. Uh, okay. <laughs> Each of you takes 16 bludgeoning damage. Uh, it's halved for those that succeeded. And then you are knocked prone. All of us? Uh, no, just Booncrash and Samasu. Poor Goose. How much health does Goose have? Like five? Goose is like swatted away uh, by the dragon's wing. Uh, you were saying? Oh. You're a good goose. No, no, you don't need to make a save. Okay. Uh, just Boom Crash and Zumasu uh, are knocked prone. And Zumasu, I'm going to have you make a dex save. Oh, no. As you I'm are kind of on the edge here. Fuck! <laughs> you begin to fall as well. Uh, you start skidding along the uh, the ground before your feet kind of like catch up with you, uh, and you're able to secure yourself about 30 feet down, just below the dragon. Meanwhile, the dragon is going to move up to, what is it, half its flying speed? That's a lot. Uh, should I roll a percentage to see if it sticks? Yeah, you should. It's a 5% chance, so I just need to not roll a 1. I'm fine. <laughs> Oh, good thing we chose 1 and not 20. <laughs> I would a 20 fail. <laughs> I don't know. It's a 5% chance. You can choose any number. A 14 is a fail. A, a 13's fine. A 15's fine. A 14's a fail. Um, I'd say it would be a 13 or a 4 if we're going with unlucky numbers. Okay. Uh, also, I need to do my damage to Pran. He still takes half. So he's going to take that down to 8. Uh, and the rest of you took 16. Uh, and Zumasu, you do have your spider climb boots, so you are clinging to the wall there. Uh, the... Um, am I technically not prone then? You're not prone. Uh, you kind of huh, like this is weird. You weirdly righted yourself because you fell prone, but now you're sideways uh, on this temple here. So you're kind of like over there, I guess. And Encanderag is now on the second level over here. Just I kind of cartoonishly wave my arms and then stabilize and give a thumbs up back to everybody up there. <laughs> right. Uh, it is Tethys' turn. Tethys is just going to shoot down some Eldritch Blasts, uh, maintaining a healthy distance. Uh, and that is one hit for six force damage. He doesn't... He's, he's, he's more of a Hexblade. <laughs> uh, okay, he's done. Boom Crash, it is now your turn. Uh... Prone. <laughs> yeah, you are prone, so you can get up from prone for half your move speed. Okay. Um, is there any place where I can move where I would be slightly less vulnerable? 
Uh, you could duck inside of the cavern. Uh, the dragon looks like it, it's big enough that it could still definitely get in there, like, pretty easily, but at least you wouldn't be in the direct line of fire. Okay, so I'm going to fire off my Eldritch Blast and then duck back into the cavern a little bit. Okay, you launch your shadowy Eldritch Blast down this uh, this pit, uh, and two of them collide. For a total 22 damage, and, and Encanderag is pushed 10 feet deeper into his lair. Okay. okay. And then you move into, like, the, the pit there. I can see you using the perspective uh, to your advantage. Uh, meanwhile, I'm on. It is your turn. All right. I just I noticed, sorry to interrupt, that Incandrag has a one for his initiative, and that is kind of dumb. Anyway, continue him on. All right. Um, so I'm going to do Shield of Faith on Zumasu. Okay. And then I'm going to do Total Dead onto, um, yeah, the dragon. Right. The... Um, if I can. Oh, no. Okay. I... What's up? Oh, never mind. I know what's going on. I was on the ruler. There it goes. Okay, total dead. Okay. Going to attempt total a dead wisdom dead. save, which... Wow. Wow. Uh, he these are... one? No, he rolled a two. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. These are the lowest, <laughs> like, rolls for a for, for a dragon. Yeah. Oh, wait, I just gotta make a concentration check. It's constitution, isn't it? Yes, DC is ten. I'm good. Good. You still got your shield, buddy. Okay, and you got your shield, so... Right. We got ourselves shields! Uh, Incanderag takes up. 22 necrotic damage. Wait! You know what? Is it worth it to do that? Is the dragon... To... He's going next round. Yeah, no, he'll, he'll just round. take the damage. He's not gonna choose to auto-succeed at that. Um, okay, I'm on. Anything else for you? Uh, I think I'm just gonna... Yeah. Just lean to the side. I don't know these guys. All right, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it is in Kandorag's turn. Uh, he finally has the legendary actions back. Uh, I just need to check something that's not there when I normally go in. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, in Kandorag, I think it's time for him to make... He has 80 foot fly speed. Uh, I think he's uh, first going to use his frightful presence. Uh, so I'm going to need everybody uh, within 120 feet, um, which is pretty much all of you, to make a wisdom saving throw. The DC is 19, as in Camperag. Uh, you are immune, but everybody else is not near you, so they're actually not immune. Is my mount immune? Uh, does it say it is? Uh, not exactly. It just has the weird psychic link, which is the only reason why in the master. Then I'm gonna say he's not within 10 feet of your aura. Great. What? One second. Music should be going. Is it's it... a, what is it? What saving is it? Wisdom? It's a wisdom save. <laughs> my 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 freaking scared ass lizard is running away with with Tethys on top. <laughs> oh oh oh. Okay, uh, oh, Tethys. Uh, should have plus two from that, so that's actually still a fail. Um, Pran succeeded. Amon succeeded. Booncrash failed. Mao failed. Uh, everybody that failed is frightened. Um, Dumb. It, you aren't prevented. Uh, you aren't forced to run away. It's not that type. You are just. Okay. Uh, you just have the frightened condition, which I'm gonna probably need to mark that. Can you put it in the the thing just so people have it as reference? Like, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna plop it on everybody because I need to keep track of who has it as well. Mooncrash is frightened, right? Yes, they are. 
And Amon is fine. Sumasu is frightened. No, you're immune. Uh, Mao is frightened. Yep, I'm a brave boy. There it is. Okay. Uh, so we did that. That's fun. After the cavern uh, reverberates with the uh, the deafening roar of his, uh, he's going to sweep up uh, into the air, and he's going to uh, snap at Pran with his bite, and gets a 22, which is going to hit for 26 fire damage. And we're going to make a claw swipe over at Amon, meanwhile, as he kind of spins his uh, back claw up towards you. Uh, and let's do that. Uh, 20's, it does a 20 hit you with the Shield of Faith on? Yeah. Okay. Then that is 15 slashing damage. Uh, and then Incandarag is going to... Uh, Let's uh, make a let's make a shove attempt against Zumasu. Great. Uh, roll against an eighteen. Athletics or attack or what do we do? Athletics there? or acrobatics, whichever is better for you. No. You are pushed five feet off of the ground uh, with a swipe of his four claw. Uh, and swatted down uh, into the pit. I'm going to need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Ugh. This uh -oh. dragon cheats. He doesn't even do anything. He says gravity do shit for him. Okay. <laughs> you begin falling. <laughs> and thankfully, you also have the uh, boots of spider climbing going for you. So you eventually uh, land about right here before you uh, manage to right yourself. Uh, this time probably more like on the ceiling of the platforms. Oh, fuck! <laughs> and your boots fail to function. Oh, god. God, forking damn it. <laughs> your eyes flash back to that one gnome saying, it works almost all the time. I almost have all the kinks out as you plummet down towards the ground. <sighs> and you're going to take some damage. Oh, fuck. Hold on a hot minute. Yeah, that's lava. Cool. Well, I think fall damage caps out at 10d6. Uh, so we're just going to deal 10d6 to you. At least at max that won't kill me, but I I wish that had gone better. <laughs> you take 42 bludgeoning oh. damage. I took half my damage, half my life in damage. Um, let me try and beat a 20 in concentration. That's <laughs> uh, 21, actually. Oh, sorry. I'll be the save. I, Ooh! I somehow managed to hold concentration. <laughs> All right. Strong boy. Yes. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare. We made an agreement. I'm still concentrating. Good. Uh, it also tells Amon that I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's valid. Uh, I don't care about that. <laughs> you are slammed down on the pillar below, which is boiling hot. This is where Encanderag was resting before. You can feel the heat already setting in. Uh, you're going to take some damage from fire at the start of your next turn as well. Okay. Uh, anyway, Incandarag's done. Mao, it's your turn. You are hidden. Uh, you just saw Zumasu, uh, for a moment, latch onto the ceiling of this temple before the lights on his, uh, blinking boots go out and he just plummets down onto this broken pillar below you. Didn't even have time to react. I was just like, uh, uh-oh. I should also note you are frightened, so this round you cannot go closer to the dragon. Fine. Um, I guess I'm probably going to go down to try and help Zumosu up. I'm going to try and secure a rope to the structure that I'm on now, just in case. Using like a grappling hook and at least having that lowered from the pillar, closer to the uh, outside wall. Okay. Uh, so it's kind of... You, you can probably draw it, but it's on this side? 
Yeah. Okay. You descend uh, a rope, your hands trembling, uh, as you note this dragon is just picking people up and throwing them into the lava pit. Um, so that's going to be a sleight of hand check. By the way, I have a question about the frightened thing. If I walk close to somebody who's frightened, does that cure them of being frightened? Uh, read, no, read the aura. Like if it's... It doesn't. It, it just says the people, me and people close to me are immune. That's why I'm just like, does it cure it? It depends on the wording. If it says they can't be frightened... Can't be frightened, can't... so does that mean they still retain the, the state? Well, you've just told me two different things now. Um... You and creatures within a ten feet of you can't be frightened. So I That's think, I think that means, I think that means it would go away. While within, while within, like the, the effect. Uh, yeah, they would be like, temporarily not frightened while they're nearby you. Is is how I would do it. Their entire duration of the, the fear until they make it. Yeah, because uh, it's not they can't, like if they already are frightened. They're, they're I'm just frightened. inspiring them for the moment. Yeah, they feel safer near you. Anyway, uh, your sleight of hand check, you are able to secure the grappling hook fairly well, um, and you can descend down the uh, the side of the wall pretty easily with spider oh. climb active. By the way, yeah, it's, uh, I'm just... 20... What's it? 20d6 for fall. Oh, it's 20d6? It's capped at 20, yeah. Oh, oh no. It's... That's an interesting time for you to tell me that. Uh, I guess I'll add 7d6 to this. Uh, Thanks, guys! Sumasu. You take another 28. I am not looking good. I think he fails the, um, the concentration then. Yeah, no, yeah. I fail the concentration then. <laughs> okay, we agree to this. Alright, uh, Mao, you can climb down the side if you want, uh, but that is on you. I am, yeah, I'm going to climb since I have the... Uh... The movement. Um, the rope is there for Zumosu. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware. Uh, so you can move normal speed. Remember, you're prone. So, you know, if, if there are more attacks coming at you, mm. but you're not within five feet, uh, you'll be safer. There. Use my strat. So there is a ledge out right. there, which you can see kind of like over on the side here. Uh, yeah. So you're able to get pretty close to Zumasu uh, along that ledge. I mean, I guess I can use my full... Well, if I run there and then use a bonus action to dash, that means I can move 90 feet, right? Yeah. 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 Just wouldn't have another action. So I can... No, I wouldn't. Um... Fuck. Zumasu, catch. I'm gonna try and toss him a healing potion. Okay. Uh, Zumasu, make a dexterity save. Why is it gotta be dexterity? Can it be athletic? The healing potion. Are you going to use your muscles to catch it really hard? Okay, would you say if somebody's playing football, athletics, or... That's kind of my argument there. No. Okay. No, I wouldn't. Alright. I, I, I don't have dexterity, so that was a terrible idea. Okay. Uh, the healing potion flies towards you, uh, and you go to grasp it with your hand, um, I guess if you had proficiency in sleight of hand, uh, that could work here. I actually might, yeah. Do you have proficiency in sleight of hand? I might for random character RP reasons. You... You don't... No, I don't. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Uh, it slips through your fingers as you, like, uh, it dances along them and then plops into the lava behind you. <laughs> it's alright, it was just the tiny one. Damn it. Uh, I mean, I have healing spells of my own, Yeah, so. well, I was trying to help, I'm sorry. Zumasu, at the start of your turn, uh, you're not in lava, but you're very close to lava, so you will start to take some damage. Uh, I think lava is normally, like, 10d6, uh, so I'm gonna say that you take about, uh, 5d6 this close to the lava. I think I might just be knocked out. Action. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I am down. The immense heat, uh, you just immediately catch fire. <laughs> Thanks for explaining the max fall damage, guys. Um, that wasn't me, that was all Mal. <laughs>
cool. Um, <laughs> thankfully, uh, you died at the beginning of your turn, so you don't need to make a death saving throw. Um, I don't think. So, uh... I wasn't sure, like, actually how far you fell, so I was just making sure that it wasn't more... Trying to make it less, technically. Because I thought Chris rolled 21 d6. Okay. Uh... Hold on a second. Okay. Um... As in Kandarag uh, seems to uh, be kind of hovering up here near you guys again, um, he just simply uh, speaks a word in Draconic, and a well of sulfurous gas just bursts up uh, forth from the depths of his lair, and he creates a foggy cloud uh, right in up where you guys are. Uh, it is heavily obscured, and I'm going to need everybody up in... Well, I should probably get the thing to mark where it is. Uh, fog cloud. It's 20 foot radius, so probably about here. So Amon, once again, is the only person that's uh, not in danger here. Um, I'm going to need Dores to use uh, to make constitution saving throws as the sulfurous gas uh, puffs up through this area with its lair action. Just gonna include Mortimer, Tethys... A oh, damn. Keep wrong things here. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mortimer, what was Mortimer's save? He had a one. You got a... Oh, I don't see it for some reason. For his fear save? No, for his no, constitution save. No, you need save. to roll another save for his con. Oh. Oh, that was mine. A minus four from that. Okay. Uh, the DC was 13. Uh, so, Boom Crash and Pran uh, are both poisoned by the sulfurous gas. Cool. Um, Mortimer's turn. Mortimer is frightened of Incandarag uh, as he sees him flapping through the uh, the sulfurous fumes here. Also, before I forget, Mao, make a new wisdom save at the end of your turn for the frightening presence. Okay, just checking. What will Mortimer do? Uh, he'd probably just cry and run away. Fair. But at least back into the cave. Uh, he runs back into the cave. Tethys kind of just stays on him, because he's also frightened. Uh, and they just descend further, uh, deeper into the cave where you guys came from. Uh, but that's about all that that's going to be. Um, Tethys will do stuff on his turn. Bren is poisoned. Um, he... Well, now I don't really hear the music. Okay, I got it now. It also just gets quiet, I think, sometimes, for these songs. Uh, okay, Pran is poisoned. Uh, he starts coughing on the fumes. Um, he is going to swipe at Incandarag, though, while he does have the chance. Although... Yeah. So he's going to swipe at Incandarag. Okay, two hits. Uh, no sneak attack this time. For 16 damage. Uh, oh! Actually, that second one doesn't hit. He has disadvantage on his attacks. Uh, so the first attack hits, but the second one he's too f uh, coughing to be able to actually land a hit. Um, Pran is then going to back up into the tunnel as well until he can get out of these sulfurous fumes. Um, Tethys is going to hop off of Mortimer as well and huddle near Pran, uh, two Marns in a cave. Uh, and then Tethys is going to try a new save at the end of his turn. Boom Crash, uh, it is your turn. Okay, um, I'm frightened, so, and poisoned. Ability checks and attack rolls. Oh, Chris, okay, I realized so... something. I fell 190 feet, not 200. Also, oh, I thought it was 170. 
Uh, wait. Oh, you only rolled 70 back. Yeah, never mind. And the second question I had is, if I stuck to the wall for a minute, would that change the velocity speed? Uh, well, no, it'd probably just break your legs on the way down. Oh, that's great. It's still 170 feet, so... Alright. Also, also, uh, Tethys is no longer frightened at the end of his turn. Seeing oh, Pran has, cool. uh, steeled himself. Booncrash, you launch your Eldritch Blasts through this lightly obscured area. Uh, you already have disadvantage, so it's not like you can get more disadvantage. But, even so, and Kandarag is a big target, two of those still hit. Roll for damage. Rock on. So we got 11 and 10, total 21. And Enkandarag is pushed, uh, this time more away from you guys. Uh, so on the other one, he's like moving out towards the uh, center a bit. At the end of your turn, Booncrash, um, he is going to do a... Gotta readjust some of the positions of people. He's going to do a wisdom check. Sorry, a perception check. It is still a wisdom check. Okay. Still rolling kind of low. Uh, but he is not preoccupied with what's going down there. Going on down there. Um, but he does notice that Zumasu uh, is on fire down there. And he does notice that Mao is there. No longer hidden. But he doesn't act on it yet. Uh... Okay, is that it for your turn, Boom Press? Boom Crash? I um, I mean, I think so. <laughs> Just gonna hunker. Right. Um, do I get another save or anything against the frightened effect, or you am do. I just okay? Also, the poison lasts until the end of your turn. Okay, uh, you are no longer frightened. Oh. You guys have finally gotten past that. Uh, okay, any movement? You are still, like, in the, uh, area, kind of, where it's, um, obscuring it. Uh, in the sulfurous um, fumes. I think I'm gonna back up and try and get out of okay. the way a little bit. We'll, we'll consider, like, near Mortimer and Pran to be, like, uh, down the hall. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you're also no longer poisoned, so I'm going to get rid of that, because that ends at the end of your turn. Um, okay. Amon, it is your turn. Weirdly, right. just far away enough to not get affected by a lot of things. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to wall run uh, down. Um, actually, um... Yeah, I better wall run that. Okay, so I... I'm going to use a dash action. I have uh, 40 feet of movement, so that's 80 feet of straight uh, uh, going to the pillars. No, I'm going to go to the pillar. Okay. As you do, uh, Incandorag does get a hit on you with his tail. That has a 15-foot range. I'm going to swipe... And I think that's going to hit for 19 bludgeoning damage as he uh, knocks you temporarily. Um, and you, like, stumble forward a little more quickly than you intended, but you're still fine. Uh, you run down the wall uh, to the pillar while taking 19 bludgeoning damage. Alright, uh, so since the monster's dead, my spell thing... I maintain it on the monster, I guess, uh, because it doesn't hurt. Um, so, I think... I'm going to cast Toll the Dead onto. Actually, do I have anything bigger? Um, nope. Uh, toll the Dead onto in, in Canterog. Okay. It's going to try and resist. What wow. is with. This adult red dragon <laughs> who cannot roll gonna... above like a 10 today. He's constipated. Just let him poop first. Are you going to use the legendary uh, save? Honestly, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I think I will. I think you're going to eat a legendary resistance because he's sick of this shit. Um, 
He's he's already bloodied by you guys, so he is going to he is going to just shake this off. And in response to your uh, bell ringing, he's just going to roar at you, uh, deafening out the noise. Anything else for your right. turn? Uh, no, uh, that's my action and bonus action. So I think I'm gonna be dead next round, guys. Nice knowing ya. I know the feeling. As he uh, roars at you, um, he is going to. Uh, I guess he'll he'll uh, use a wing buffet since he still has some legendary actions. Um, he's going to uh, jump up into uh, this cavern right here, and as he swoops in, his wings uh, get down close to his body, uh, and he uses some of the momentum to carry him a bit. He's inside of this uh, tunnel where you guys are, and then he's going to take his turn. He's going to use his fire breath, which fills pretty much the entire uh, tunnel there. So I'm going to need everybody in the tunnel to make dexterity saves. The DC Oof. is 20. Nope. I say everybody, and it's mostly me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I can also make a save to... Uh... It was 15 damage, so okay, so I'm fine. Uh, no, I'm fine. Actually, no, I I, I dropped the, the concentration on Zumosu. Oh, damn. Okay. Thing did not work. Mortimer just got an extra 20. Um... What the frick? <laughs> Mortimer is resilient. Uh, so he's gonna take half damage. Still not a good outlook, as, uh, the number of dice is almost his hit points. Um... Teth has got a natural one. Every, everybody is taking full damage except for Mortimer. Okay, guys. Um, I hope you like dice. I really don't. Mother wow. wow, that's a lot of ones. It is. Thank God. And Kandarag so, kind of sucks. Two sixes, two sixes so. <laughs> also, I realized that I don't have my 3D dice enabled, so I'm going to just roll it again. Uh, it won't count as damage. I just wanted to see all the pretty dice. Ah. There they are. Yeah, the thing that doesn't screen. count. It's like, like, like five sixes. <laughs> there they are. You, yeah, you're seeing, like what, you're seeing the bullets that you're dodging, which is good. Uh, Mortimer pops immediately. Uh, Pran's gonna take 58. Tethys is going to take 58. Pran is a rogue, he can... Oh, he actually has evasion. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, so he's gonna take half. So that's gonna be plus 25. Chris 29. is trying to TPK us. Forgetting about I mean, all the other kids. I mean, also, it, it would have worked uh, if we for the meddling dice. Also, uh, in my, uh, Preparation: The secondary bar that Tethys has—that's uh, actually his armor of Agathis. Um, so he has that going for him. In Kandarag, is going to take. Wait, uh, does armor of Agathis only work on attacks? Uh, check. check it out. Uh, hits with a melee attack. Okay. So he doesn't uh, do that, but he does resist 25 damage of it. So that's going to be. Uh, do, 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 33 damage total. And zero armor of Agathis. Uh, okay. And Booncrash, you took your damage, right? Yep. I'm at 32. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I think Incandarag is going to, uh, look down at what is going on down there. Um, and to get out of the blast range of these guys, he's going to swoop down. And he's going to move. He can move up to 80 feet. Yeah, let's go all the way down to Amon's level. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. I would have got it knocked out before Matt would have wasted a potion throwing it at me, right? Uh, no, she, she did that. It was her turn. Okay. But Technically, he would have been dead from the full damage, though. 
No, he would have been dead from the fire damage fire? he took at the start of his turn. Ah, uh, okay. Mao, it is your turn. Uh, but I think we're going to have to pick it up next time because it's midnight. Can I at least try to save Sabosu first? No, that because uh, we we like ending no! on cliffhangers here. So. You better have health potions on you, boy. <laughs> I think I have one. Everything sucks. <laughs> Pretty much. Wait, and, and Kandorog is uh, within touching range, right? He is now. All right, it's gonna be touchy touchy. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna feel yeah. up a dragon. Okay. Right, I need to write notes for uh, myself. The chronic handprints. Woo! So, uh, at this point, uh, thank you guys uh, that came out to watch. We're going to uh, continue this next Sunday uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, you mm -hmm. can watch the sister stream over on Wednesdays uh, from 7 p.m. Eastern Time to 10. Uh, be sure to find my book on Drive-Thru RPG, Noble Crumpet's Guide to Slimes, Jellies, and Oozes. 70 pages, uh, 50 oozes, 30 spells, 6 subclasses. It's really great. Go check that out. Um, in the meantime, check back next week for the I was going to say exciting conclusion. It's definitely going to be exciting. Uh, gonna it's be definitely going to be a conclusion. Uh, Shut up. Pray for them. When I have two greater <laughs> healing potions. I guess that's good news. See you next week, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>